Hello. Oh wait. I forgot about. Give me one moment. Um. Hello. Am I not able? To... I set it up beforehand. But the camera. There we go. Ah. All right. Play Minecraft. Wow. Thank you for announcing that so nonchalantly, very subtly. Totally didn't get the hint. I don't know what she. I don't know what Goose is playing. Is Goose playing Minecraft? I can't tell. You look like a therapist. I guess I do. Why do you need? Do you need some? words to come out of your system do you need to get something off your chest good morning i am therapist yet and uh from what i hear you've had a lot of issues that you need to overcome and i'm, I'm here today to listen to all your problems i'll listen to everything that you have uh going on today so how are you i say as i uh move away desk Don't, don't mind me, just say what you want to say. Oh, oh, is that right? That's so. Tell me more. Uh, um, I have a method of making sure the sounds out of my room won't come inside. It includes a pull-up bar, a blanket, and slippers. Uh, I'm not dead. I'm just physically away from the board. The uh, don't mind me. Just keep talking about your problems about how you don't have anyone to be with during the. I know it all. I can tell just by look X. Don't mind me. That's why you go in the ball. I click the door. Well, this holds it. Okay. Happen anyway. Here we happen. Can't talk about my problems with laughing. Good thing that you are, I am here for your comfort. Say whatever you want. Um, no, don't don't say whatever you want. It's a safe space. Not a safe space. Literally. Okay? Problematic thing. You probably don't want to say. Out? I could think of like at least five. Yeah. Uh, I am sweating right I just took a shower. Uh, according to Kepco. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Uh, forget that idea. I'm not gonna. Ooh, are you working out? No, 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 no. I'm, um. I'm setting up my blanket in a way so that it'll block the sounds from coming in and out of my room. And, uh, I think that plan just failed. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. But, yes, I'm back. I think I'm just gonna give up on that idea I'll just figure out a different way but I do have a pull-up bar now so I can just work out whenever I want to <clears throat> yeah today is just gonna be a little casual I'm not really planning to do anything too spectacular but it would be nice if we had some people coming in well I'll just do a little quote retweet on that Twitter thing I'm a Bob uh live and hanging Hang, hang, hanging. Is that what the young kids say? Come on. In. Link. And. Of course, I know my Twitter. My Twitch link by hand. Don't need to copy paste anywhere. 
and post. Ooh, damn. Okay, I am a bit sweaty. Which is not good, because one, I took a shower earlier. Two, I'm going to drink coffee during this stream. So it's not going to be that pleasant if I keep sweating. Why is no one responding to me? Oh, um... I don't know. I, I've just been kind of busy with literally everything else. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I, I can't really say. I, I would try to reply to everyone as soon as possible, but uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe you're coming along to other people a little strong. I don't know. <laughs> it also seems kind of uh, off place in terms of time. It just seems kind of random. All Like all of a sudden it's like, oh, hey, how you doing? And it off puts some people, so maybe that's why people aren't, aren't responding. I do try to respond every once in a while, but, you know, I, I usually, you know, <laughs> I usually just try to talk to people that I know very well. I usually talk to them more often. That could be the reason why. But yeah, uh, yeah that is reasonable. Uh, yeah, I won't I won't say that you aren't doing anything harmful. I mean, you're not doing anything harmful. That's fine. I just think that um, Not just me and I think you might be chatting to other people and to people in general who want to chat to new people I think it's better if you have Like, you know, if you're standing on the same ground as them, like maybe you've bonded over something that you like, you know, maybe this a favorite video game or a favorite whatever. And through those grounds, you're able to talk to them and seamlessly make conversation. I think if you're just abruptly coming up to them, it's like, hey, let's talk. And you expect them to talk. It usually doesn't work out because, you know, <laughs> it's not. Okay, well, <laughs> for example. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm no expert in conversation making or anything, but I think that's how I would go about it. Like, I would know that there are boundaries that I have to have with people, and those boundaries usually include, oh, there, if there's no way for me and this person to connect one way or another, uh, I usually try to not, you know, converse with them at all. Like, I, I think that's why a lot of people, whether you see them in real life or in movies or stuff, you know, people try to find a certain connection with each other. Like, oh, what do we have in common? I have, like, I guess we have in common that we like the color blue. Okay, let's start with that. And then, you know, seamlessly find your way to connect yourself from blue to maybe you like uh, uh, bluey, uh, like that <laughs> that Australian <laughs> child's TV show. And then, oh yeah, speaking of children's TV show, have you watched Peppa Pig? I don't know why I thought... I don't know why I thought children's show to connect your conversations, but you can find your way, you can find your way to making a completely seamless conversation to connect with the person. Connection's important first, then you start doing casual conversation. It, it just seems a little suspicious if you start with, oh, starting it with a casual conversation with a person you've never met, and then is oh yeah let's talk about this but you've never talked about anything beyond that of course there are exceptions but that is exactly how they start in the gfx bot accounts you know if you're on twitter and you know you're an art person or you're a graphic design person or you've talked about something related to graphic design then you know for certain they start off with a very casual conversation it's like hey how you doing and they expect you to reply and then right afterwards they talk about oh yeah by the way i do graphic design commissions so uh why don't you commission something for me and then that's when you know ah they're here to try to sell it therapist yet oh yeah you're saying yeah yeah oh well yeah i'm not i'm trying to like yeah even right now i'm trying to divulge from that topic of how casual you can be to like you know, talk about the GFX bots. But oh my god, like, ugh, I hate it whenever I get those DMs, right? Because, like, you, you get the little notification on Twitter, the little, oh, number one on top of the mail. Uh, and it's like, oh, someone messaged me, and it's really exciting. You open it, you look through the request, it's a bot. You know, you can tell it's a bot. If you, I don't know, they say, hello, and that's it. Hello, hi, how you doing? 
And you say, oh, nothing much, really good, how about you? And then they're like, oh, that's great. By the way, uh, you should commission me for these different things. I just block them or I delete the conversation because I'm never... If that's how you're going to start your conversation, then I, I am not interested. I don't want to do anything with you. Just leave my life. <laughs> and you've made me more disappointed than I was when I thought someone actually was trying to make a conversation. It's like, oh... I mean, I don't know what people would DM me about, because either people DM me on Discord, which is a lot more harder to find, but I guess that it is still pretty open. That must be on Instagram. Yeah. I don't know what's co more common on Instagram, though. I got this jacket. And my gla Actually, I'll keep the glasses. I'll keep the glasses. It makes me feel studious. <laughs> Very therapeutic. I don't know how often you get a GFX bot on Instagram, but I'm sure there's something equivalent to that. And that, that makes me a little sad. I wish there were no, uh, like, I understand it's like a scam thing and it's supposed to, you know, in the existence of all things, there's gotta be those copycats that are trying to, you know, suck money out of you. But I wish it never existed in the first place. Why not just, if you're gonna be a graphic design account, actually do some good graphic design outreach dming a person is not a good idea so don't do that please all the gfx accounts out there please i don't want it i don't want it from you i would rather <laughs> i would rather get a text from my oshi than from you which is i'm sure everyone everyone wants that Ugh. Uh, well, it's more just random notification about Instagram threads. Oh, I don't know enough about Instagram to know what threads are, but if you're talking about that other app that recently came out, right after Twitter turned to X, people were advertising, oh, we are like Twitter, but better. You know, Instagram, they, they thought of threads. And there were other apps that came out of nowhere, like, VTu like VTubers.me. That's the one I occasionally use on the side with Twitter. And then there's Blue Sky, which came out months ago. And people, the only way you can get inside is through an invite code, which is very strange, right? Because, like, maybe the reason why they have invites only is to make it exclusive so that it's not riddled with bots. It's annoying. It is. Yeah, I mean, whether you're talking about threads or how there's like another sh like another spew of Twitter uh, clones, you know, they're trying to they were trying to get on the hype train of Twitter dying to become X, but it just became a shit show for every other uh, you know social media app because it just doesn't make any sense. Some of them are just you know like it, it's like it's too foreign. For some people and that's why you know like people couldn't really get used to it because they were already used to twitch uh, used to twitter yeah Ooh. is my bitrate unstable i hope not uh-oh what is going on with my internet i think that's me hold up is someone someone using internet like at such a rate what's going on hold on let me check my internet speed because that is abysmal what is going on no not uber fucking uber i'm not there is my internet speed okay so those are my computers wait is no one home right now Oh, I think I'm the, Oh, I think I'm the only one at home right now. Then what's eating up all the internet? Okay. I think I'm the only one I think I'm the only one home, but why do I hear footsteps? <laughs> this is definitely a start of a good horror film. Uh really? 
Uh, oh, oh, never mind. I, I'm not the only one here. There's someone else and some other guys. But who's using who's using the internet? I think it's getting choppy on my end. Uh, 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 uh. Everything seems fine with every other website. What's going on? What is going on? Yeah, my streaming capabilities is really getting bad. My internet is really bad sometimes. Oh, yeah, actually, it might not even be. Bovrum, you're, you're probably not experiencing choppy internet because of you. It might be because of me, because I think someone's using the internet excessively at the moment. Downloading data, uploading data. Cool. Show live usage. Okay. Total download, total upload. Yeah, I'm the one who has the most. <laughs> I think, well, because in my house, I'm kind of like a finance person here. So anything that's like bill related or rent related, it usually goes through me. And then I relay it to everybody else in the house. But that also includes the internet that we use. <laughs> so, but I mean, it's not just that. And then uh, there's also me who uses the most amount of internet out of everyone else because I usually download a lot of stuff and I do a lot of streaming. Not that they would know. I just, uh, I don't know. I figure out what's going on. Prices. Dang, why is my, why is my, Creeper. Oh man. So we back in the mine. Hmm. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Why is it doing that? The internet shouldn't have a problem. Yeah, the for some reason my bitrate's been unstable. You crash definitely. Um, no, no, no. I I closed the stream and then I opened the stream again. I I I did that deliberately so I can change some of the settings on OBS. There was the no camera thing. Yeah, because I closed it then I opened it again. That's that's the thing that happened. Um. Okay. Well, I can see my own stream on that thing there. Uh, I mean, it seems like everything's stable. Doesn't look too much of a problem. I think maybe we solved it. I I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I, I I'm thinking about playing some games actually. Just just something casual. I haven't played Mario Kart in forever, so maybe I should start with that one. And I've been itching. I've been desiring to play tears of the kingdom i've been i've been like thinking about okay i want to 100 percent the game but what do i need in order to do that it's funny i want school tomorrow and i don't oh yeah are you starting a new are you starting a new year right now pretty exciting <laughs> snowing and raining yeah that that happens usually nowadays with the. Uh, with the way how everything works here. I'm gonna set up a switch. Yeah, the weather's been kind of weird. Desire, I, I, you know what? You're not the only one. When I was on vacation from college and you know we were on winter vacation, after a while, like, you know, that month gets kind of lonely and you think, damn. I mean, there's friends, of course, and there's other things, but you wouldn't think you'd want to go back to school again. And you do just like near the end of that break it's like god damn i want to be in the school where i can learn and you know d be busy with something 
Senior in high school. Ah, yes. Yes. You're about to transition from high school, then you're going to go on to college. So your last semester in high school. I will say the experience in high school and then experience in college, two totally different things. So it's not going to be exactly the same. Last year before graduation. Hell yeah. You better succeed. Uh, let's go. Gone. Oops, that's the wrong window. Uh, open game capture. Hell yeah. Why is it so big? And we need the audio. Of course we need the audio. What's happening? My minging... <laughs> Are you fucking menging? Ah, uh, that'll never stop being hilarious. Okay, yeah, I have to adjust myself manually because some because of some new update. I forgot if it was OBS or if it was VTube Studio that I used. It messed up my entire settings, so I have to readjust everything. But I haven't been able to do that for the past few months because I've been busy. Uh. Then I change this from display port to HDMI. Hmm. Uh. My career doesn't need college. I'm gonna be HVAC technician. Oh dang! Hello, fish. How's how's it minging? Are you fucking minging? Oh dang, I didn't do that last bit. Okay. What I'm sorry. What how did <laughs> Look at that. Look at those trophies. Those trophies I haven't gotten yet. I got to do those. Forgot I didn't. Oh no, cuz I I I did probably did it in my own personal account, but I didn't I didn't complete all this here. My god. I am not a true Mario player. I'm a Mario Kart player if I haven't completed all of those. I am such a failure. That you don't see the black part of the screen. There we go. Watch me beat this game. Hmm. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Ooh. Ah, shit. Yeah. Wait, why is it so funky? Let me just adjust my screen for a second no 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 hdmi i need this in hdmi i'm on a hoyo vs hell street genshin and starwell grinding okay wait why is my hdmi not working <laughs> yeah have you been hearing about the the weird honkai star rail genshin controversy apparently uh, I don't know exactly what's happening because I've detached myself from Genshin for a while, but apparently there's been more hype on Star Rail, and that in turn just makes it less hype for uh, Honkai, Honkai, not Honkai, uh, making it less hype for Genshin. And it's strange. Genshin too. Oh, it's really Hold on, I'm just trying to figure out what's wrong with my... Not outputting... Why? Maybe that's what... Work. <laughs> when? Turn on HDMI. Technical difficulties after technical difficulties. Yes, I live a very difficult life. Okay, yep, HDMI is not working. Whatever. We'll just, I'll just, I'll, <laughs> I'll fight through it. The reason why I'm trying to fix this so that I see an HDMI is because um, if I'm looking at this through the game capture, which you guys are looking at right now, that's the game capture. But I, if um, I play Mario Kart on game capture, 
it um there's like a like a slight delay but it's enough for me to have like a whack amount of like it's gonna throw me off my game okay all right we'll just we'll, we'll try we'll see how this works I mean, it's only 150cc, right? How hard can it be? Yeah, it shouldn't be that hard. And up we go! Hmm, there's no cool ramps you can get off of here either. It's kind of strange to be up here. But it's technically a shortcut. Because less computers go through here, I believe. Or less people know about the shortcut to go through there. Alright, and then we turn left, and then we turn right. right. Oh, shit. Uh, see, see what, I, see what I did there? I usually don't make that mistake. And yet, I did make that mistake right there. Do, do, boo, do, do, do. My ear itches, my ear itches. Ah, my ear itches! <laughs> Oh my god, were those my own bananas? Oh jeez, oh god, oh jeez, no! Okay, itch my ear, itch my ear. <laughs> Gives me enough <laughs> brief moment for me to itch my ear. Oh god. One, two, three. on the fourth one I think? Yeah. Woo! 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 I can't see shit. Uh, use context clues, context clues. Oh God, I can't see any context clues. Man, I, I always forget. I'm not used to this one yet. I don't like the city ones because there's no clear track to go to. Getting back to start, it's just a good break while being similar. I play Genshin every single day. I used to do that too, bro. <laughs> I think summer of 2021 till the summer of 2022. I played it every single day. I made sure I didn't miss a beat, uh, miss a single day on it. Oi. Oi. Step away from me. Step back. Get back. Get back. Maybe I should open my Genshin account, see how it's been since last time, because. Yeah, it's, it's been a while since I opened it. The last time I opened. Ah, fuck. The last time I opened it was to try and pull for Navia, but. I didn't get her, and I'm kind of sad, because <laughs> I love her. I love, um, I don't know if she's inspired by Kingsman, but it, she has very Kingsman vibes. And I, I, like, that was, like, the only reason why I wanted her. Woo! Meow, 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 meow. Navia, I didn't get, so I'm just gonna have to play normally. I do have a lot of characters, but I don't have them all. Especially the five star ones. Oh my god! You know me, I wouldn't normally do that. I wouldn't normally do that, but I did it, so I am the less superior character to play. Ooh. Meow, meow, meow. Open! Says me. All right. I don't think I'm going to be losing anytime soon. Right? Yeah. Looks like I'm way ahead. Don't touch the fireballs. Whatever you do, the spicy I meat, the balls. Uh. <clears throat> What's sad about me playing Genshin, though, is that I haven't even gone through the entirety of Sumeru. Uh, I haven't even touched Fontaine yet. That's, um, it's a shame for me, because <laughs> I know everyone's bubbling about Fontaine yet. I haven't even, I don't even know what's going on. I know there's, like, some memes that have spoiled a bit of the story, and I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible, but I kind of know what happens. So I'll just, what, if we ever get to that part, if I ever, like, play it soon, or I don't know if I'll play it after this game, but if we ever do play it, just pretend I don't know anything, and I'm just gonna act out play-by-play. Play. It's like, ah, this is what happens. That is what happens. Mm. Oh, that coffee's a little too watered. Umbrella. <laughs> yeah. 
Dude, I always thought about, um, actually, you know what, I might not even share it, because I, it's an idea, I don't want it to get stolen by anyone, and it's probably not even a good idea in the first place, but it has to do with Kingsman, and it has to do with, uh, it has to do with Genshin characters, but I don't want the idea to get stolen, so I won't mention it now, but I first need to learn how to do, uh, animation for that to happen. It's kind of a shame on my part, but it's going to take years until we get to that part. Shut up, baby daisy. I don't like you. Oh, oh, oh. Don't throw, don't throw behind you. Don't. Ah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 You are not allowed to throw. He said these hips. Wee, wee, wee. Uh oh. Uh, uh, uh. I fucked up. I fucked up. No, I'm okay. I'm not as fucked up as I thought I was. I'm good. <laughs> All right, we're good. We got triple bananas. We're good. We're good. Drift over here. Drift over there. Drift to the right. Drift to the left. And dude, I wonder if this would be an, a viable track in real life, like NASCAR or Formula One racing. I don't know exactly how they work, but but this would be a really cool trick to do in real life, like jumping around in fiery hoops, like in the Starkus. Uh, uh, uh. This is faster, right? Even if I destroy it like that. Fontaine is fire. Oh, oh. I just need to go through the entire Sumeru storyline first, and then I can get there. But oh god, I have like my my heart and soul has lost, has been lost in Sumeru. I don't know if I'll have the motivation to go through get to fontaine but you can swim inside the water in fontaine so i just you know I, was like, I, I need to do that and otters they have otters i really want to play with the otters mm. Whew. what's the last one it is bangkok is this bangkok or is it singapore I think it's Singapore Speedway. Yeah, Singapore. It says it on the sign. Get away. BVB. I do not want to quarrel with you. I wonder if I fall off here right now. Woo! Then we go through the hoops. Like basketball, Mario three on three. <laughs> Has anyone ever played that DS game? There's a there's a basketball game for Mario, but uh, it's on the DS. And in order to dribble, you use the touch screen, and then you know you do certain tricks with the touch screen as well, and you know all the tricks are done with the touch screen. It's very nice. I wonder if you could translate that into a Wii game or into like a Switch game. Right, because like a lot of the stuff that you can do is usually like motion oriented. I'm sure you can do that with the IR sensor on the Switch, not the IR sensor, whatever they use to capture motion. Right, because they they got plenty of they have plenty of sports games that do the same thing. They capture your motion. I'm sure they can do that with basketball as well. Uh oh, I hear death. Oh. Yeah, I'm going forward though. Uh, oh shit. Boink. Uh oh. I'm kind of in trouble. Nope, I'm not. I'm not as long as I stay alive. Woo! And then trick off of this. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Get to the hoop. Get to the hoop. Ah shit. That's fine. That's fine. We're still in first. We're very far ahead. 
We just need to not screw this up majorly, which I do sometimes. Only sometimes. Because every once in a while, they're just, just like, oh yeah, you know, why don't we throw in an extra ah, four, four red shells and I can only defend two? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Like, something like that? <laughs> Whew. Sumero's very emotional and heartwarming, but Fontaine is encapsulating beauty off the bat. Hell yeah. Th that makes me more excited. I kind of want to play Genshin now. <laughs> Now that you bring it up like that, you got this. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. We Resort had basketball. It was really fun. Yeah, I remember that. But um, uh, I think We Resort, when they translated basketball, you can't... You're, it's not that you're moving the character. You're just tossing it to different characters that are on your side. And then, you know, you do, you do the throw. You miss the throw. You start over again. You don't really have motion like you do in mario hoops three on three actually let's do let's do one more let's do one more grand prix but 200 this time because i know there's the last two i didn't get to and i i am a 200 cc boy at heart actually wait, which one is this one's more exciting and then maybe me may, that makes me think oh do, should i play should i play genshin right after this or should i play Tears of the Kingdom right into this, because I know I really want to play Tears of the Kingdom, but you know what? Let's do this. After this, we'll play Genshin. If I am motivated to play, then we will keep playing Genshin. But if I am not, then we will play Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> That's what you see? You see Link? I always see Mario. Uh... No. <laughs> well... If anyone knows me, I'm more of a Mario guy. Only recently have I been playing the... I've been playing the Legend of Zelda games. I've never played... Well, I'm, oh, that's a lie. I've, I've played some Zelda games. Oh my god! It's so... Uh, it's so windy. This is not built for 200cc. Turn around, turn around, don't eat me. Woo! Oh, turn around, turn around... Oh my god. All right. One of three, baby. And lost that behind you. Ooh. Right, oh, yep. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Yep. And ooh, oh, he's awake. And then. Yeah, this is this is what this city feels like. Where are we again? Are we uh, we're in Mercedes Benz. I forgot what the name of this place is called. Ah, shit! Ah, le, 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 le. All right, okay, we're good, we're good. That's only the first one, so we should be fine. It's not gonna appear again, I think. Hold up, I know there's a lot of messages going in the chat right now, but I can't, because... I can't look at it because I'm a little focused. I'm a little too focused right now. Okay, perfect. Oh, right, soccer. Um, This is where... Oh, shit. This is where Messi is. Uh, Fuck, what's the name of this place? What's the name? No. <laughs> I need a twerking it emoji one of these days. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Thank you for putting in your request. I definitely will take it into very, very serious consideration. No pressure on Genshin, but if you need some boss help, I got you. Oh, I, I think in, in terms of bosses, I usually have no trouble. It's just, I'm not, I don't, I'm not the best at optimizing the characters with like artifacts and, you know, like the, the stats. I don't know much about that. I just, oh, this one seems to match the character and I put, put it on them. Hold up, I need a little more coffee. Hmm. Let us begin. Alright, I actually don't know this course. Let's see if we can... Oh, camera, look up! Oh my god! Ah, oh, camera! Oh, camera! What is wrong with... Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
uh, 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 uh. Why is it so tipsy turvy and curvy? I can't see. The camera just won't let me look at certain things. Oh! And of course, correct just a bit. Oh my god. You know what? As a Rosalina simp, you would think I would know this course lower better! You'd think. You would think, but I don't think. Do I think? I do. I'll be honest. I do. I like to pretend that I'm I'm not a I'm not a great thrower. But I have thoughts. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good, we're good. Just turn around here. Okay, perfect, perfect. Right when I was hitting me. See, the camera looks down, but I can't see what's in front of me! Woo! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, yes, and we got the double. It's fine, we're just gonna go down. Whoop, uh, whoop. Ba -do -ba -dee -do. Oh, wait a minute. That's not it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I messed up. I messed up. I'm probably going to not make it. Oh, God. I wanted to go to the right. <sighs> Woo. And. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. We're good. We're fine. What about Wheel of Fortune? We can do that together. Um. Yeah, sure, we could totally do that. Um, <laughs> I have no plans to anytime soon within, uh, I don't know, like, fifth, within the next 50 years. Assuming my Switch is in top prime condition to play that game still. You break my heart with rando artifacts. Uh, trust me, th there's a reason why I choose each artifact for each one. Like, you know, I, I, I say I don't know what the status effects are for each artifact, but I at least know that, oh, like, there's this stat with, uh, oh, like, it does, like, certain attacks, certain HP, and I allot them to the character that's most appropriate. I do that for sure, but I don't know the specifics of it. So, um, I just like, oh, this one is generally for attack, so I'll put it on the attack character, on my DPS character. But not all the time. That's just, you know. That's for future me to try to dissolve and figure out. But I, I, especially now that I don't care, I don't think I'll care about the allotment. What I ha whatever I have on my team right now, it's probably the best that I can get. I definitely do want to upgrade my Shenha because my front runner character is Rosaria and she's been on my team since day one. Like I never looked back and used any other character. Any other character I've changed uh, in my team, but Rosaria, she has always been my front runner. So I never thought about ever exchanging her. But ever since Shenha came out, I'm like, I should probably change Rosaria with Shenha. But I need to upgrade Shenna to, like, level, uh, she's at level 80 right now. I just need to get her upgrade materials to make her level 90. And then once she does, then I can swap whatever Rosaria has with her artifacts or her weapons and then give it to Shenna. Yeah, that's my plan, but will that actually work? Well, I need to upgrade Shenha's stuff first, but her her upgrade materials ah uh, includes a boss battle that I don't want to do. <laughs> Takes forever for me to beat, probably because I haven't optimized my team for that specific guy. Oh, is that Olimar's uh, rocket? I just realized. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Check, check, fuck, check. Oh my god. What was that? Oh, why did I go my banana? Why did I do that? Ah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh! Oh, hell yeah! You saw that gap jump? I did that. That was me. Uh oh. No! Well, I mean, I was gonna crash here anyway, so that probably worked for the best. Then turn it again. Woo! 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 Uh oh, didn't trick. It's fine. Boy! Boy! Oh my god, that's such height! Uh, uh. Oh, catch up! Ah ha! No, 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 turn around, turn around! Ah! No! Wait! No! Come back here, you son of a bitch! Come back here! Come back here! Come back here! Come back here! You come back here! No! Shit! 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 Give something! No! 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 You're not supposed to do that! No! <laughs> that wasn't on the script. <laughs> it's more fun to take on a challenge yourself, but my co-op assistance is always open. Those twin dragons for Shenha don't fuck around. I know, I know. <laughs> I can see why I didn't get three stars on these yet, because uh, this keeps happening. <laughs> yeah, I think my boner for... Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has, uh, it's gone down. I, let me just grab the next one for Genshin. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, I can't believe it. This is... This is absurd. And to, and to CPUs, no less. Why were they so close? Why did he have a bullet pill right at second place? Maybe he wasn't there when he when he got it at second place. Maybe he was like at third or fourth place, but Oh my. Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's play Genshin Impact. Let's do that, huh? That seems like a fun thing to do. Let's Oh wait, I realized I didn't I didn't change my stuff to Mario Kart. Whatever. We'll just pretend this was part of the chatting thing. So uh, we're gonna close that. Let's actually change it to Genshin now. Where is Genshin? Where's that thing, bub? Genshin Impact. Done. I'm gonna boot up Genshin Impact. It's probably gonna ask me to do an update. It's fine. Oh, oh yeah, it's an okay. Oh my god, no. I have to I have to install the game. You know what? While we're waiting for the game to install. <laughs> and trust me, it might be a little difficult to believe, but maybe we should play <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's play Tears of the Kingdom. Let me just... Tears of the Kingdom. Hell yeah. And then turn on the switch. Again, for the second time today. Tears of the Kingdom. Given to Gotcha Hell. Uh, uh, shut up. Shut up. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong one. Wrong one. Gotta. This is my personal file. So, right now, the. Right now, Genshin is installing, but yeah, I, ca I can't play it until the update's completely done. And I know it usually takes a while, so we're gonna have to wait a bit. So forgive me if we're playing a different game than what you expected, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there once we get there. T.O.T. while you wait. Yes, exactly, exactly. I, I have a mission to do in Genshin, and, uh, not Genshin, in <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom anyway. God damn it, it's always so hard to interchange these names. Funny enough, I made a little checklist for myself for Tears of the Kingdom in order to completely 100% the game. Where... Whether it be shrines or light routes underground or the Addison signposts or 
of all the main quests, side quests, side adventures, I have a checklist for things I need to do. Why do I have health? Uh, have health? What is wrong with me? I can get one heart though. Do 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 do. Oh, hello. Hello, handsome. Wait, I have a camera. <laughs> does she look at me on the side? That'd be cool if she does that. <laughs> Whatever. No time to fool around. Alright, let us to the thing i have some things marked for okay so there uh, there's apparently a shrine here but it, i don't know how to get into that one what's this what is that this is something i haven't discovered yet or something that i've i don't know what is that what is that what is that actually what do they want me to do there the Druidus. <laughs> D don't don't call it that. I mean, hell yeah, hell yeah. But let's not call it that. <laughs> That's rude. You can't say that, especially in front of them. That's rude. All right, where's that marker heading towards? Ah, it's... Oh, wait, no, it's the newspaper, right? It's the news. We got a report on the news. And who's that walking down the street? Who are you? Hi. Hey there. You wouldn't have it to also be after Misko's treasure, would you? I walked up and down the roads in this area, and I haven't found any caves at all that might hold Misko's treasure. Even when the trouble of I even went to the trouble of asking the treasure hunters at Foothill Staple which cave to check in Tabantha Frontier. All that walking from here to Elden and the northeast of Hyrule and back again, and I'm no closer to my prize. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm sure you'll find it one day. In this game. About the Legend of Zelda. Uh this is Lee, right? Oh, we're Hello, Link. Working hard at such a late hour? Good, good. How's it going? Are you and Pen getting along okay? Did you lose track of your partner? Let's see. Right now he should be canvassing a dual, dueling peach stable over in West Nekluda in southeastern Hyrule. The Yiga clan recently sent the paper a statement concerning Princess Zelda, you see. It definitely shook me at first, but then I reminded myself that it could be just a bunch of hot air. Regardless, I asked Pen to figure it out if it was true or not. He put on a pretty confident act, but Penn is still a rookie reporter. There's a number of things he hasn't gotten a handle on yet, so take care of him. That Demon King, or whatever he's called, showed up. Nothing is going how we'd like it, but until Princess Zelda has been found, we gotta keep focusing on finding clues about her. Remember, where there's a crowd, there are rumors. Canvas the stables and see what you can find out. Gotcha. Peanut butter baby. Yes, Goose is. She is a, she is a peanut butter baby. Uh, b b b right, so I think that stable is... There, there it is. Dueling speed, dueling peak stable. Words are hard to come out of the mouth. Bling. I want to travel like that someday where I can instantaneously teleport from one place to another. I mean... I can totally do that because I have a door that takes me to anywhere in the multiverse. <laughs> uh, where are you? Why are you so... Oh, wait, hold up. I see a mushroom. When I see a mushroom, I go take it. And I like it when I wear... Wear this armor because it helps me fly faster. And... With this, I take no damage when falling. So that's a that's a, that's a good, cool bonus. Oh, hello, doggy! Hi, doggy! Hi, doggy! Hi, doggy! Hey, hey, hey! Yeah! 
It's a, it's a crime that we can't pet them. It's a crime. I hate it. I hate that they won't let us. No. To the guy. Come on. They give her support and stable association. One point to your pony. Po oh, and I got another one. Oh, looks like you got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger. Then call me over. Now then, once again, welcome, Link. Do you want to register a horse? Uh, nah. No matter how many times I scold them, those sons of mine just don't listen. If you ask, if you ask them, they, they'll tell you they saw some big footprints, the likes of which nobody has ever seen. I swear, I'll never stop being surprised by the kid, things my kids can imagine. Um, your kids. Actually, what's the thing I got? You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? As a reward for 16 points, you can now join our main restyling service. This will let you change the look of your horse's mane. Treat your favorite steed to a new hairdo. If you save up just four more points, oh, you'll be able to register one additional horse. We appreciate your patronage. I always forget how you get more of those. Oh? Interesting. That part was like this, and that part was, um... Stop making weird noises. You're activating my tism. What? What What noise are you talking about? Okay, I'm gonna launch the game. Launching on the side. But we gotta see if there's more updates I have to do. And that's gonna take a while. My tism meter is skyrocketing. We're resonating. Oh, God. What, what noises am I making that's making your tisms go up? Can't you control your tisms? Wait, Dart, Dart, that's not it. Weren't they more wide? Huh? Wide? They were definitely more broad. Stupid rain. Washing those footprints away before we can get a good look. I wish it didn't rain so much around here. Hold up. Let me look at Genshin right here. Eh. Alright. It's loading up the bridge, you know, in the little opening screen for Genshin, but it's not showing me anything. Come on. Show me some options here. Oh, is it? It's not. Wait, nothing's happening. Oh, whatever. Well, we'll just. Uh, until something happens. Ah, yes, something happened. Let me enter my email. Penisclown at gov.net. And my pass, oh shit, my password, it's having me log in all over again. Okay, and then checking for update, it's probably going to do the thing where it's like, oh, we got to, oh yeah, downloading the resources. I wonder how long that's going to take. Anyways, Beetle, hey, of course I see you all the way out here. You're an adventurous traveler just like me. Um, what do I have to sell? Do I have any diamonds? Oh, I got three diamonds. Just two. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's done. Okay. Um. Hold on, let me just... Goodbye. I guess we'll just have to do this next time. We'll save that. Save. All right, but for now, we are going to play something even more cooler. It's called, and you might not know it by just the name itself, it's a little game that I like to call Genshin Impact. Uh, Genshin Impact. There we go. Don't know why it got smaller. And let me just pull up the sound. There we go. And changing that to Genshin Impacto. Done. Do, do. I'm gonna move this down here so I can see it. All right, let us begin the game again. And hopefully we don't give up halfway through <laughs> because it gets too difficult halfway. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. 
crunch a neck. Crunch a crunch a. All right, calm down. Calm down. We're good. We're fine. We can do this. <clears throat> ah. Oh god, what what's new? What what has changed? We got mer Ooh, wait, the merchant's here. I remember him. You gotta go to him every day, so he gives you a new gift. I forget what it was, but I'm sure one of them is Primo Gems. Primo! Primo Gems. Uh, oh, oh, I think he's usually over here. I see him. He's right there. Hello, friend. Yes, uh, whatever. I don't care. Not bad. <laughs> Something interesting. Yeah, just give me my thing. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't care. <laughs> Hopefully this is not me when um when we're doing the the story. Yes. Dude, I've got so many of those. You can take however many you need. Oh, and also, um even though I haven't been playing the game for some reason, the thing that I would not stop doing is do the daily rewards on their website. So, I'm sure I've got a lot of mail. Oh, I got a lot of mail. Oh, okay. Well, 60. That's fine. Is there anything? Delete red. Verification. Green breeze. Uh. All right. Oh. It's taking me to the website. No. I can't have my computer load more screens. Confirm. Ver uh, I don't really don't do the survey anyways. Okay, give me it. Oh, no, 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 wait, not that one. No, 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 no. I don't want to open that right now. There's the surveys. The notices. I just don't, I need the red to go away. I need to make sure that I don't see this and it tempts me to press it every single time I look at it. No, no, no. Good. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, the skins. There's Shenha's skin. Oh, I really want it. I really want it. But I don't want to spend any more money. <sighs> Where is it? In the shop. Character outfits. It's not... Oh, is it not available yet? Or maybe it's still in announcement mode? Blazing armor. Battle boot camp. Test run. Oh yeah, there's the gun girl. I mean, I know how to use both of them, but I've never tried her before. Let's try that. I gotta like make sure I clear out everything I haven't done yet, because it's been maybe about a month since I've opened this game. All right. Oh, she uses a spear, though? I thought she'd be more like a bow user. That is so conflicting. How do you... So how do you use her gun? Oh, it's good to know that she's a spear user, right? Uh... Oh. Oh. Is that how you... Oh, well, nope. Okay. Just boom and boom, boom. Okay, boom. Uh, uh, no. Uh, oh, it's been a while. It has been a while since I played this game. Number four. Uh huh. We got him. We got him. Oh nope. I used it wrong again. I'm sorry. Let's use it on this one guy. Oh, hello, sir. Do not mind me. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. Yep. And, ooh, chuck, chuck, poom. Three new skins. Gotcha. Gotcha. I, I don't care about the other skins. I just like the way how it looks on Shenha. Especially, like, there were, like, promos I saw earlier. Outside of the game. And they look amazing. If there's one thing I would spend money again on this game, it would be the skin. That's it. Alright. Yep. Boink. Alright. Ooh. Yeah. No, no, no! Not according to my game! Ooh. 
Yep. No. That one. <laughs> no. What? That wasn't the end? God damn it. Do it again. Do it again. Take out the blue sword again. Easy. 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 Bro's game hopping. Of course I am. I can do whatever I want today. It's a freebie day where I can do whatever I want. Mother, let me be. I want to do whatever the hell I want. And of course, my favorite bow user, Yoe Mia, hands down, hands down. She's part of my team. Don't mean to brag, just humble brag. Oh, wait, I used her wrong immediately. <laughs> well, at least the combination's good here. All right, seize her and that, and use her little firework thing, my Bob. Nope, nope. No. <laughs> you can't get me when you're dead. And he's dead, right? Oh, wait, wait, no, not yet, 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 and he's dead. Easy, easy. I do, buddy. Oi. No sounds coming from the outside. The only sounds that you should hear is my succulent voice. And of course, oh, oh, in terms of visual design, and one that I would love to have in her life, Ujosara. I love her. I love her. I'm using her right now. Me too. Uh, I mean, you'll see what my team is. I'm sure you already saw from the side, but... Yeah, I have a very core team that I use, and Yoimi is a part of that. I don't know how to use Lisa. It's kind of hard to gauge on what I'm supposed to do with her. Uh uh, uh uh, no! E e e e e e e e e. Get it? Get it. Nope, that does nothing. <laughs> I should probably be a little smart with this team. Oh, there we go. Oh ho 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 ho. Yep. Nope. I'm sorry. Hello. You do your thing. You do your thing. Yep. 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 Anyone else? Any? Uh, yeah, we're done. I can never tell. I just see uh red getting smaller, and then hey, fight's over. <laughs> I just until then, I just throw whatever I have at them, and then ban it. You buy on it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gonna throw that. Do that. And do the thunder thing. Do the other thunder thing. Do the other thing. And then do the healing to nobody. Because I missed. By accident. Oh, no, 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 no. Other character. Other character. Woo! And then she does her thing. Oh, God. Where's, where's, where, where, where? Oh, come up! Uh-uh! You ain't doing shit! <laughs> you can kind of tell, and I'm sure, yeah, it's it's kind of obvious. I don't know how to use these characters. I just, just let me, just let me. Oh, oh, it's done. Okay. See? I didn't even know the, the fight was done. I just, <laughs> just, it just happened, and there we go. That's all. That's all I do. I throw them all the stuff I have, and then they die in return. Oh, that I forgot about that. He looks nice. Oh, shit. There's new. I think as I was starting to get out of Genshin, the one thing I still enjoyed was their um, trading card game that that I enjoyed the most. OK, and then log in. Uh, uh-huh. I guess I already did that before. Then, oh, yes, 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 yes. Ooh, which one should I do? I mean, th this is pretty cool. Oh, Yoi Mia's back. All right. I mean, I do want to get her. What's her name again? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what her name is. I can't figure out what her name is. I don't know what her name 
Chevrolet. Che 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 no, 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 not that. Uh, details. What's her name? What's her name? Chevrouse? Chevrou? Whatever, it's probably French. Alright, now that we're here, my usual mantra is... Oh wait, hold up. Right. Because this would complete the thing. Oops! Oops! Didn't mean to do, do that to you, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then have him craft some things to complete the, the daily missions and stuff. So see? It did the thing. And I would buy his things as well so that I can upgrade my weapons. It, it was a habit of mine when I did this, and I'm sure I can still make it a habit if I do this. I guess I'm just min-maxing uh, what I can do. I'm sure it makes... Chevrous? Is that how you say it? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like I know, because I, I totally know French. Yeah. Alright, let's do the dailies. Oh, yep, there we go. It took a while, but we got there eventually. Do 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 Alright, where's our mission again? Oh, yes. Drop down target. Right there. No. Uh sir, sir, sir. Sir, come back here, sir. Come on, die for me, please. That's all you gotta do. Not that hard. Whew. All right, where are you? Where are you? Oh, they're on the other side. Yeah, you do that over there. Uh huh. Oops. Ah 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 ah. Come here. Come here. Oh, fine. Take it too long. And then kill him. Are we done? I think so. We'll just heal really quick. Oh yeah, and Farina is also a character you can get as well, and I miss that banner, but it's fine. I mean, like, ah, she looks so awesome to use. And she can walk on water like Kokomi, except uh, a little more permanent, I think. Like, she had a better upgrade compared to Kokomi. She's essentially a Kaza replacement. She melts defense and pyroelectro team. Ooh, I don't know anything about team dynamics. I just... Put, I just put my favorite characters together, and then <laughs> there goes, oh, cool, that's great. It's, uh, it's that team. And that's it. I know there's a certain item. There we go. Then we use that to get some cool items. But what items do I have a surplus of? X. Yes. And we'll just wait for that to happen. I remember that being a thing. Don't know what items I got, but I'm sure they're pretty useful. We just need to go to our objective. Over there. Where is it? What's oh, up there? Gotcha. Oops. Oh, there it is. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Oh, you're going, you're going out. You going down. You going down. You going down. You going down. No. 
No, come back here. Come back here. Come back. Come on. Just a little more. And, uh, and you're dead. <laughs> Perfect. All right. And, oh, of course, there's one over there. She's good with you, Amia. Okay. I mean, I guess that's good, but I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm a hard man to please, especially with these characters, because... I don't know. Even if there's good characters, I usually like to collect them, but I'm not. I'm no good with trying to make a new team. I'm. I'm pretty much stuck with what I have. Okay, what do we got? I right, will just follow her for now. Ella Musk. Come on, go faster. Go faster. Ooh, it's a lizard. <laughs> All right. Over and say hi. Be careful. There's absolutely no way they would talk to us then. How uh, do we? Don't wake the others. Hello. You're hard to please, but easy to amuse. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know me. I wonder if this is an actual language like that we can decipher if we had enough context. He seems to be ta taking out something to show us. Oh no, it's a web. Oh, it's a weapon. Uh oh. Well, that didn't go well. Oh, jeez. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It was, um... You good there? Good shit. Uh-uh. Not allowed to do that. Okay, and you too. I think that's it, right? Oh, there's one more, I think. Where? Why? And you are done for. You are frozen in the air for some reason. Ah, oh, well. Why does it sound like you actually know how to pronounce the words? I speak Ooga Booga. Did you know that? I know many languages. I've traveled across many different worlds, and Ooga Booga is an actual legitimate language I've learned. Good thing you were here, otherwise I would have no idea what would have happened to me. I don't think I said anything wrong. Maybe my pronunciation was off? I guess I better hit the books again and do some research before trying again. Eh, well, there's always next time. All right, and the last one. Why is it way over there? Makes sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Hush, hush. Uh, ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. This is not my objective. Just ignore me. Woo. 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 Mm. Oh, wait, it's this one where we have to protect the little tower. Hmm. Ain't that a joy? Where ought the... It feels so strange to play this game after having long sessions in Tears of the Kingdom. The physics just don't feel the same. Oh, there you are. Ah, ah, ah! Ah, 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 Oops, why did I do that? You don't do that? You don't do that? It, whoo! You dead. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Nuh-uh! Nuh-uh! Oh, no, you don't. And then where else? Oh, God. No, sir. 
Sir! You cannot do that on private property! It is against the rules! Alright, you've left me with no choice. Okay, we're done. We're done. That was easy. Get warm really quick. We just need to go back home. Get our prize, get our shared possessions. Where is it? Oh god. Where is it? At Astra Abersay. Giving prize, baby. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, expeditions. Cool, dispatch again. Mondstadt. Oh, cool. Dispatch. Cool. Uh huh. That and that. I forgot why I designated those people to do those certain things, but there's probably a reason why, so I'll just keep them doing that. Use a total 150. That'll come naturally. Uh, what now? I believe we have to. Oh, wait. Hold up. Expedition award. Wait, reward? Um, oh, oops. Forgot about you. I'm sorry. We're back on the Genshin grind? Basically. I mean, I'm motivated now to do some parts of, what was it? Sumeru, so that we can get to Fontaine. But I remember the last time I left off at Sumeru, it was like in the middle of a story that I didn't really understand. It would be a while. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, where's the item I need for Shenha? Cause she's she's the character I'm trying to ascend right now. So we need. Oh God, we need. We need a lot. <laughs> we need fifteen more. Uh, and jade. We need. Uh, we need cryo jade stone. Where do we make that here again? I believe it's upstairs. Um, how do we make that? So, we'll start off with... Wait. There might be someone vibe. No, I guess not. Because we need plenty of those. Was it five? I forgot the number. I should have checked the number. Okay, six. Six of those. We got plenty of whatever, but we need six of those. Those little... We need that light blue infinity stone. Okay. And then we have one. Ooh. Oh, dang. Uh, how much of each do we have? Well, it's not like I'm going to upgrade any of the fire ones yet, so we'll just do that. Then with this one. Yeah, convert. Why not? We've got plenty of those and we've got plenty of money, I think. Uh. And then, upgrade those. Imagine how many of these it takes to make just one. See, like all this, we're doing all that effort. And it's only going to make one. <laughs> so we have two now, right? Yeah, we have two. We need to convert more. Can we just convert them all? Yeah, like, I feel like even if we convert them all, it's not going to, it's not going to amount to much. We're going to do it anyway. I don't care what people think. I'm just going to do it because it feels nice to do. Convert it all, please. I would like to do my currency exchange. It feels like I'm doing currency exchange. It feels like I'm at like one of those offices that are like, oh, uh, how much money do you want to exchange today? He's like, oh, I've got $50. I want to exchange them to Turkish Lira. So can I, can I do that, please? And they're like, okay, that's fine. And then we'll give it to you for a certain amount. And if you're if you play your cards right, you can actually get more money. Ooh. Uh No. No, 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 we're not doing that. Are you crazy? We're trying to get it to make a cryo. Cryo's our goal here. Give me everything. Everything trying to convert to cryo. That one too. That amino crystal? Cryo. This, uh, Geo Crystal, uh, Cryo. Did I, did I do all of them? I guess I did. 
Oops, didn't mean to leave. Come back. All those. Cryo. Cryo, bigger crystal. And then we get the big one. And then that'll make it two. So we have a total of four. Dang, we don't even have enough. And I can't even buy them. We can't extort someone to give us more. Oh god, there are so many. I don't even want to look. Um, alright, let's hit the hay. Send this one. And we go. We go to them, get their stuff. Do the thing. Fuck them up. It's gonna take like a few minutes, but it's fine. Uh, I would raise the world lever level, but I'm comfortable with this one. I'm fine. Oompa, oompa, loompa, doopa dee do, da da da. Oh, oh, ha ha! You thought, you thought. Uh uh, uh uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. 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 Ow, 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 ow. Come on. Oh, I can melt you. I can melt you right now. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, I missed, though. It's not. I missed. Oh! Oh! Oh, I got hit anyway. Nope. And get him, because he's super vulnerable at the moment. Oh, shit. Get, get him. Get him! Get him! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's probably not a good idea. Hit me, hit me. Hit me. Do it again. Yeah, I dare you. Oh, he's in the wall again. Oh! Oh! Look him up! Again! Oh, shit! And do that. Do that. We're, we're just gonna focus on the electric dude. Uh-oh. Oh, they're gonna do the thing again. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Ow, that hurt. Uh-oh. Well, at least you made it easy for me. Okay. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Strike that down on the ground, heal a bit, do some combos, some wombo combos. Ho! You thought you could do shit because you think you're shit? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Huh. <laughs> you almost got me, you little shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, chat! <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> Don't! Uh oh, what are you gonna do? 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 Uh oh! <laughs> you can't do anything because you don't got walls! Uh-oh. Come on. Oh! Oh, I missed. I missed. It was a waste! Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's he's gone. He's gone. Alright, so they're gonna do their little duo combo, whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. And then he's gonna go in the water while we attack him. Oh my god. Getting that guy was half the battle. Uh oh, uh, yeah, do do your thing, whatever. Uh, uh, ow, 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 ow. 
Fire and ice just never mix. Uh oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> we got the combo, bitch! Uh oh. Oh, God. Just kill him off. Oh, 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 oh. You're gonna be rude to me? Is that what you're doing? All right, he's done, I think. I'm gonna shoot him a few more times. A few more times, a few more times. And he's done. He is finished. Cool. And we've got two. <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah, wait, actually. No, not that I would. I haven't been to the teapot yet. It's been a while. Please complete the following quest. What do you mean? The teapot. Please. Teleport. What? Ever's. Sorry? Ever so close. What do you mean? What level are you now? If you're talking about my adventure level, it'd be 56. That's my AR level. But with my characters, they're all level 90. Man, I got a burp. Lord have mercy. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Is that good? Is that bad? Is that a good Lord have mercy? Or is that an okay Lord have mercy? Please, please tell me it's good. I haven't played enough. No, it's good. Okay, good. What? Uh, what? What are they talking about about that Serena uh, teapot quest? Where is it? I was high enough to play with my friends. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to climb. I'm at I've been at 56 for such a long time, even when I was playing. Oh, I discuss business. Okay, we gotta do a mission here. But here's the thing: I need to do the stuff. I need to get some materials for Shenha. So we're just going to cycle back and forth between bosses until we run out of resin. So we're going to do that really quick. But to do that, I usually go to one of the easiest bosses that I know I can deal with easily. We'll just gather materials as we go along. Yeah, but it is tough to play with friends that are different levels because... You know, they're trying to help you travel, but uh, every time you encounter an enemy group, it takes you forever to finish. But for the high level friends, all they need to do is just hit them like three times and they're done for. I'm usually the high level guy, especially for like my brother, because uh, he, he's like recently been wanting to play the game with me. But I'm always there with the high level group. So I'm always kind of spoiling the fun for him. <laughs> Didn't know you have a brother? Well, now you know. Yeah, he he he, got, he took an interest after seeing me play it. So he's like, hey, maybe I should take a try. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I can help you with some of the things that you need to do. Ouch, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, we just need to... Ow! Oh! Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Uh oh. Okay. Whew. Oh, God. And that, and last bit. Perfect. You never spoiled the fun whenever you hung with us. Uh, spoil the, oh, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I don't have much to spoil in the first place. That's not, there's nothing to spoil whenever I'm around. You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. All right, let's go back to this. I think he'll come back. I think they'll come back once we do a different boss. 
Uh oh. Fuck. I know she's gonna die. She's gonna die. Oh wait, no. I need to target you first. That's usually the pr you are the problem, child. Oh fuck. Come on. <laughs> Uh 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 just use the buffer between and we're good Come on come here come here Uh oh Oh she's on the wall She's on the wall Uh oh, fuck I still got hit anyway Alright Come here Come here with a little baby shit Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, she hits the ball. Come back with a little counter. I love my pirate. Ah, yeah. Uh oh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. Oh, they're doing their thing. Um. Ow! 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 ow, ow. Go. Uh, nope. And then destroy the wall. You, you. Uh, no, no. You. There we go. Oh God. I missed. God damn it. And we'll just hit him. And he's gonna do the ice again. Oh no 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 no. Come on! Hey! Alright, use the buffers, use the buffers, use the buffers. Come on, just die already! Death is what you're destined for! No, stop, stop. Hit the, hit the freaking wall. That's the reason why. Oh, wait, wait, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Alright. He's got an indomitable spirit. Yes, I am. Not the Christmas spirit, the dominable spirit. Christmas is gone. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Yes, 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 oh. Woohoo! No! Where are you going? Oh, no, they're doing their thing. Okay. Uh! Uh! <laughs> now it's your turn, little bitch! Oh, hell no. Nah. You think you have the advantage when you, in course, have not? Ow. Don't, 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 don't. That's mean. Why don't you do that to me? <laughs> and then, here's a little ice gold fountain. Use this to heal everyone. Uh oh. Uh huh. And, bop! And then we'll use the electric fire combo to take him out. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're still good, we're still good, we're still good. All right, we ran out of fire. Uh-oh. No. Counter it back. Come on. Ooh, nope. Nope. Bring that back. Nope. We're almost there. We're almost there. No. Ow. I was a little too late in that charge. Ah, yay, yay, yay. And we're done. Whew. How much resin does that cost again? How much resin do we have left? Oh, no, no, no. Matt. We've only got 40. I don't think it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. 
We can't do that again, unless we do some other mission or something, but I don't think we're gonna make it there on time. Wait, let me check that one more time. 960, okay. I think it's better for me to save up, even if I get the... How you say her name again? Sh Chevrous? Chevrous? I think that's how you say her name. But yeah, even if we get her, she's only going to be like a trophy character that we can get. So probably not best. Best if I save up my pr my Primo gems for another banner, because I'm sure they're really cool characters that we can get. And Yoimiya, as much as I love her, uh, what C do I have her at? Oh, I don't have her at all. I should get her. I should. Because... That is a little that it's a little concerning if she's not even C one not even C one. Damn. Oh, I wanna save, but I also wanna get her. Alright. So we'll save on the resin. What do we gotta do? What do we gotta do right now? I guess I guess that, yeah. Um Navigate. We will go to Sumeru. Oops. And we will talk to Altham. Bro managing his impulse control well. Well, you know me. A very responsible adult. You're going to want the Lantern Right banner characters. What are the next banner characters? Does anyone know? Can someone tell me? I, I would search, but I would rather have human interaction than computer interaction. Yoi Mia doesn't need C1. I guess you're right. Go down there. What's over there? Wish I can get there faster. I could totally do that in Tears of the Kingdom. I keep thinking, what if they implemented some Tears of the Kingdom aspects to this game? Like, the, the build mechanic? That would be so fun. <laughs> that would be amazing. Alright, I don't remember what part of the story this was, but we're gonna have to talk to him to get to my teapot. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is use his knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. What are we doing? <laughs> Open your inventory and use the canned knowledge. Okay. I think it's... Uh... This? No? Oh, uh, that one. Use. Shanyun Nahira. Then Yaimiko. <gasps> Shanyun! I forgot! It's Shanyun! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm... I'm saving for her. I'm saving for Shen Yun because I saw the the demo of her, like you know, people being able to use her in battle, and I really want her. And it's like the design. Come on, man. Come on, man. As if I saw countless sword wielding figures fighting one moment and then in the next, then disappeared in the recesses of my memory. Uh, I feel something. Alright, time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. Um, initiate second combat test. Alright. Wait, how do we do that? We... How do we do that? Oh, I guess we, we... Oh, this way. Hello? Come on. Then... Yep, there we go. Oh, there we go. Uh, will they hit me? What? Taking a little too long. Oh. Oh, that was... Cool. Try not to come from excitement. Ah, I mean, you know me. You know me with those kind of characters. You know me. Hi, Crystal. Good to see you again. We're just casually just playing some engine. How's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve her combat ability. During the second fight, her overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. Wait, that's it? 
Uh, that's basically zero. Dory's such a jerk. She totally scammed us. One million mora? This thing isn't even worth a tenth of that amount. Of course, this could be because she is so powerful that the capsule contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. At the very least, the test allowed me to gain more insight. Cool. Nice. Nice advancement. I'm heading back to the Wikala Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more up for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Okay. Alright. Wait till 7 o'clock, two days from now. Oh, I am not waiting. I'm going to... Uh, well, first. Got some achievements somehow. Money, money. Baby, baby. And time. What's this? Today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow at 5. Come on, go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Yeah, but Shan Yun, I almost forgot about Shan Yun. I thought her banner passed already because uh, I saw the information about that like a few weeks ago. But, oh, yeah, I'm definitely saving for her. Does anyone know exactly when her banner starts? I would like to, um, you know, be prepared when that happens. Uh, wait, I need to wait till 7 o'clock. Yes, please. Alright, how do we get up there again? Ah, I think I have to climb up a few stairs, but it's fine. We can do that quickly. If this was Tears of the Kingdom, though, I could use a sand to get to the top. <laughs> Is what my brain is telling me. Ah, uh, is this just me wanting to play Tears of the Kingdom instead of Genshin? I can definitely see that within myself, but I didn't think it was this bad. I'm just doing so many, <laughs> many uh, comparisons between the games. It's coming out in a few days. Few days? I'm not prepared. I need to do my makeup. <laughs> not this way, yeah. All right. Hello, Dory. Ah, here, over here. Welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? You named it. Canned knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need, I'll find a way to get it. Where, where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. Can you really get us anything you want? Ah, so it appears that the canned knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for you opulent appetite? Then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. Uh, I like to buy info on the whereabouts of the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Oh, I knew customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary canned knowledge. You came back at the perfect time. Oof, yeah, I know. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. Not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious how you happen to have this kind of information. The in information the moment we need it. Ah, because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot in the market in order to secure more sales. As for the information's authentic authenticity, well, you don't need to worry about that. I use a ca camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. Name your price. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. Ah, now that we've paid in full, here's a scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain misery, a leader of Ain al-Ahmar. Ahmar? You mean the Aramites who worship King Deshret? Ah, so you're already familiar with them. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of King Deshret. The Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other canned knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for it yourself. For the info, Dory. Yes, pleasure, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. Mora for Dory opens doors. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, how do I look at that? 
where is it that how do how do i look at it there's misery leader of oh i guess i don't need to actually look at it uh we just need to go that away wow right there isn't it cool that you can just fly everywhere i love it that you can do that hmm wait before we go down there i feel like oh shit i feel like there's something on top of this i don't know if i've already done that already but i have a slight feeling there might be something here come on Give me some energy back. And up here, please. Shit. Um, maybe not. Actually, turn. Come on, goose. Let's keep it relevant here. All right. You know the rules, and so do I. We got the info you wanted. Really? All right, let's hear it. It's in the hands of Ain al Ahmar. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Air Might transaction, but then to get close enough to take a picture of this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. All right, the person in this picture is in deep misery, the leader of Ayn Alhmar, and the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge Capsule. In which case, if we play our cards right, and we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show them their hand. At first, Pylon didn't get why you were provoking these Ayn Alhmar guys, but well, now it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious task with our boss and let get let get the data with their boss and get him to lend us the divine knowledge capsule. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, three o'clock sharp. We'll be there. We'll be there. We will be there. I'll see you there. A few days later, on the day of meeting with Alama. I'll hide him sure taking this time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. He's right there! Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Pharaoh's lighthouse. Alright, let's -a go! Where, where, where? Oh, way over there. Why does it have to be right across the river? Is there anything in the water? I wonder. I wonder. Nothing that I- Oh, look at her feet. Oh, God. <laughs> That's gonna be hard on the ankles. And in the water we go. There's usually treasure I haven't gotten yet. I'll hide them. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise, but to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? Hm. Fine, your funeral. I'll have him be like, I love books, which is why I'm the most muscular character in game. <laughs> Oi, is he gonna fight us? Oh, we can totally get them. We can totally beat them up. Good luck, you two. Oh, we're just fighting in the city? Okay. All right. I've got no problem with that. No problem. <laughs> you can't do shit like that in this square, baby. Right. 
Perfect. Oh, cutscene. All right. Boss! Boss? What? Boss? Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. What's going on? Oh, he looks normal. Did, did he use some. What? Does he have like a bub plug up his butt now? He seems. okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you can definitely tell something's wrong because his ear thing is red. Oh. Hey, he's got some moves. <laughs> can we fight? Oh, he took the butt plug away. Ain't that cool? You just have like take it. feels very futuristic, but at the same time, this is not really the future. World, forget me. Do not forget me, world. Wonder what could be behind that. What in Teva just happened? It's like that big guy suddenly lost his mind. It looks like he used a divine knowledge capsule. Oh, really? A divine knowledge capsule did that to him? Speaking of which, Apacia did mention. Uh, you know how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Irminsul? I've heard num numerous of incidents of researchers in Sa Sat oh, God. Sat Yavada life going insane. The state that man now is. Uh... Sorry. Ugh. I had to burp. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumor suggests. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What can that possibly mean? That's exactly what I heard before I think. Rinsel. If the mantra took him away, then that means the academia got the divine knowledge capsule back too. What a shame, we were so close. I am a disease that inflicting Genshin on everyone now Yasha is spreading it too. Fuck! <laughs> it's infectious! <laughs> I'll hate them pacified, a big muscular deluded dupe by sensory overloading him with a singular tap. Uh, less of a tap, more of a like big slam that would have broken his brain. I mean, did you hear the did you hear the force of him hitting his ear? I thought his skull was gonna collapse. Still, Paimon didn't expect the Divine Knowledge Capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine we try to open it. Who knows what would have happened to us? As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. Oh, we were so busy trying to find a Divine Knowledge Capsule that Paimon forgot to ask something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we can go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumer's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the, Ak Ak the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Ah, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery. I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Ah, it's almost the day of the Saber 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 Sab Sabzerus festival. Maybe we should head back too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. Yeah. Then we'll part ways here at All Hatham until we meet again. 
Until we meet again. Goodbye. Now, to deal with this thing first, or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require? Shall I stick it up my ass? Yay! Quest completed! Finally! That's one story of, I don't know, a few thousand more that I need to finish? Okay. What? What? Uh, you can quick challenge, lock challenge, man. Uh, I don't know what that means. Cool, we got 30 promotions. Weary Traveler, have a Dorito. Thank you, thank you. I thank you for your support. This Weary Traveler shall have his Dorito and eat it. Burning my resin and domains. Oh, wait, um, before any of that, I want to go to my pot. Because there's a lot of stuff I need to finish off. <laughs> Mazafaka? Trust rank? All right, all right. And we need to get those coins. A lot of coins. And the furnishing stuff. Oops! Didn't mean to exit out. Uh, wait, no. I think the reason why I've chosen to build stuff is so that it, it completes the thing. Did, were there any that I needed to make that I haven't made yet? No, not really. And the Realm Depot. Oh yeah, there's more resin that we can get. Maybe we can like... Maybe we should get another for that. But I want to save the money too. And I could buy these for artifacts. But it's not like I update any artifacts that much anyway. We'll save. We'll save. We'll we'll make the decision later. Uh, buh bu what's over here? Ah, yes. And if I remember, yes, the salesman. Uh, okay, guys, d don't judge my teapot. I never really cared about it that much. So the only reason why I have all of these scattered everywhere is because, uh, for, for the leveling, not for the actual design. I haven't really touched this much. Ooh, do these, do these do anything? I remember I always bought something here, but I don't really care anymore. Let's go to Inconomia. You know what? I kind of feel bad for this world because they, I think there was like something interesting about it. And then they just, it just left it be. You don't really do much here anymore, except go to here to get that sweet, sweet leveling up ascension materials. That's about it. That's all that everyone ever cares about for this character. Characters. Uh oh. Nope. Oh, come on. Come hither. Come here, come here, come here. Uh oh. Ah, and of course you're just gonna go to the wall now. Damn it, and I keep getting hit by that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Give me that sweet, sweet butt. Ooh, 
Get him in his butthole. Get him in his butthole. Get him in his butthole. Oh, shit. Come on. One, two, three. Uh-huh, get him in his butthole again. And that, and that, and that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, -uh, you thought I was in danger, did ya? Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Just a little bit of damage. Ooh. Of course, this is the last... There's only three walls, right? I always forget. Um, can I get out of here now? I need it. To... Yep, there we go. Oh, what? That's bullshit. Uh oh, I wasted that. Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me. Gag! Uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. He's dead, right? He's dead. Yeah, that's them dying and doing the spinny, my bubby. Oh, whoo! Like jump rope except death is near <laughs> hey hey oh no 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 uh oh oh i did it too early i did it early why must it always be this way why do I always fuck up my moves? And boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Dodged all of those. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, I wasted that. Why did I do that? <laughs> then we'll just kill you off. Uh, it's not gonna completely destroy him just yet. Come on. Go down a little faster. I would prefer if you did that. Oh, I might be. That's my death. That's my death. <laughs> All right. Come on. And I wasted that again. Why did I do that? I always do that. And just a little more, just a little more. Ay, 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 ay. There we go. Didn't want to waste that last one. And that's the last of my resin, babies. How much left do we need for Shenha? Ooh, we need eight more. So, like, realistically, four more of these fights? I'm not excited. I had something to say, but I lost my thoughts. Me too. Me too. Me too. I always forget. All right. Oh, thank you for reminding me. <clears throat> Am I back? Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at those hips. Look at them. Give me a minute. I'm going to go pee. I will be right back. Just admire Shen Ho for me, all right?
Hello! I am back! Let me... Wear my jacket for the... <laughs> Getting a little colder. I don't even know how cold it's supposed to be right Hey Siri! How's the weather right now? Okay, so it's around 38 degrees right now. Not too bad. It's been, surprisingly, it's been getting warmer. Usually, because I think the lowest temperature it's gone on a normal day is around, like, well, I don't know, like, even lo as low as 29, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. But the past few days, it's been going up to, like, 40s and 50s. You know, it was, it was warm enough to not have to wear a jacket. Very interesting. And we're still in January. Oh, I'm gonna grab a. Hmm. It tastes really nice. I would totally eat a lot more of these. I'm gonna move some of my stuff here so that I can make space for more cookie. I love cookie. It's one of those crappy cookies, you know. The, the the I don't know how to explain this one, but it's you 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 you'll know it if you see it. But it's one of those cookies that um, it's very rough. You can definitely tell that it's made by dough because it just looks like dough with a bit of cream on top. And it's one of those that you you bite into it, you can definitely tell immediately that it's not good for your body. It's not great at all, but it just it just tastes good. So you just keep on eating it. 28 degrees Celsius, and I was like, how is that cold? Yeah, no, I was. I had to specify Fahrenheit, not Celsius. I know Cel in Celsius, 28 is pretty, it's pretty good. That's not cold at all. But uh, yeah. That's the trouble with, um, with temperature. Celsius, Fahrenheit, Ke Kelvin, well, no one uses Kelvin. That's more of a science thing. But Fahrenheit and Celsius, using in between it. The only reason why we have those two is because America uses Fahrenheit and everyone else uses Celsius, which stands for F stands for freedom. <laughs> You're not wrong, brother. Yeehaw. All right. What do we got here? Oh, wait. I wonder if we can. Oh, wait. This one only has three minutes left. Three hours left. We should probably do that one. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's do that. Because that one's in we need to get there in a timely manner. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Over here. Huh? We know them. Oh! Shinobu! One of my favorite characters. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at her. Look at her! She's beautiful. <gasps> and Yon Fei, baby! Sorry, I'm like squealing a little too much. I gotta cover. Tipping <laughs> for characters is never an easy it's never an easy task. Damn, these are these are my these are the characters that I like the most together in the same table. <laughs> mm, Paimon, you're here too. Hell yeah, my favorite lawyer. Yanfei Shinobu here for some hot pot, huh? What's the occasion? Why I mean, restaurants just closed for a couple of days, but it's nice to try somewhere different for a change. Siri Yang's hot pot is pretty good, and you can get it at a Wanming restaurant. Siri, I didn't call you. No, I didn't call you. Wanming's closed? Why? What happened? Well, it was partly our fault. Recently, some old classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch, and they said they were organizing a get-together. Yanfei is the most senior among us, and she's the most qualified. So she got to pick the location, and she booked Wanming restaurant. The turnout was a lot higher than expected, and in a space of two days, we somehow got through all the restaurants stocked for the week ahead. 
Boss's enormous appetite was also a significant contributing factor. He went a little crazy. Chef Mao was pretty wiped out by the end, but he had a huge smile on his face. It was the best business he had in months. The only thing is, it'll take him at least a couple of days to fully restock. Ito. <laughs> Bull Chucker's here too? I'm unsurprised we haven't seen him. Those horns stick out like two sore thumbs. Yeah, when I heard I was meeting up with some old classmates, he got very excited and decided he was coming with me. His logic was, and I quote, any classmate of Shinobu's is a classmate of mine. Ito's a growing boy. Yeah. Notwithstanding the fact that Boss has never studied a day in his life. I think he just feels that he didn't get enough chances to indulge his taste indulge his taste bud last time he was in Liwei. That other kid you all uh, the other kid you guys brought with you though. What was his name again? Oh yeah, Grandmaster Hanakado. He seems like a smart cookie. Ooh. Ooh. You probably didn't notice because you were busy chatting to your classmates at the time, but he was helping Chef Mao out in the kitchen, trying to pick up some leeway cooking skills. I suspect he wanted to learn how to make some new dishes to feed to his Onikabuto and make them stronger. Who is that? Oh yeah, didn't we meet him during that beetle battle that Bull Chuck organized at one time? I wasn't there. I didn't take part of that. I can't remember, but anyway, it's not important. <laughs> not important. Goddamn. Good memory, Paimon. After the near catastrophe that was the Beetle Brawl, Hanakata became an ally of the Arataki gang. He and Boss regularly hang out to have practice matches and discuss Onikabuto re rearing strategies. But to his credit, a lot of the things he ropes Boss into during the name of Beetle Brawling actually result in Boss doing some real work for a change. It made things a lot easier for me. For instance, they've decided to spend a few days helping Chef Mao restock the kitchen, partly to thank him for the epic feast, and partly because they would like to use the opportunity to look for new ingredients to boost their Onikabuto's performance. I think they're out looking for crabs at Gunyan Stone Forest right now, with Miss Shang Li and Mr. Goba. They all seem to get along great. Goba's already made friends with Crimson Staff, as Ito calls it, and uh, it's something something Beetle King or whatever Hanakado, Hanakado's is called. They've been out for a while though. Shouldn't they be back by now? Unless something put them in a playful mood, in which case it's anyone's guess of what kind of mess they might be in right now. Well, now Paimon wants to join in on the fun. Crabs from Gunyan Stone Forest? Mmm, Paimon bets they taste great. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do it. Alright, and make a good team. Not everyone can get through to him, but he usually listens to you two. Make a good point. Well, thanks for checking up on them, you two. Hell yeah! I shouldn't be wasting too much time, though, because uh, we need to finish this within three hours. Uh, oh wow, he's over there. Okay. Yeah, gotta swim over there, I guess. Mmm. 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 Got it. Okay, I got one at least. Oh, there's. Let's approach them carefully. Hey! Right. They are there. But how exactly there are they? What is that? Oh, it's one of those like squirrels. Hey! Give me your meat! Right. Where are they? Oh, hey. Ah, I see it now. A heart shell, a whole bunch of legs, looks like a born warrior. The crab is the Onikabuto of the sea. Throw one of these bad boys in the ring and your Onikabuto will have to seriously up its game. <laughs> That's right, Oni King. Technically, the crab belongs to a different species, but it all has the qualities of a perfect warrior beetle. Pitting Onikabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. 
Then it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever before. No rest until they flipped every crab in the area onto its back. And once they're done, we'll need to stoop down and scoop them up. No more chasing crabs all over the beach. Crab versus Beetle. Oh. Ugh. The unholy sounds. Tie me up. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Are you guys out for a walk or something? Yep, uh, we're just gonna do the thing. Yeah, we're gonna have we're, we're, we're gathering the stuff, and then we're gonna do this beetle versus crab thing. Uh oh. Uh, he's talking too soon. Oh, it's the break dancers. Hey. Heart shell check. Legs, not too many, but it's make, but more than makes up for that whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train for your Oni Kabuto against. Uh, yeah, kid, I don't know what you're gonna do. I make quite a reputation for itself as far as Gunyun Geo Vishaps. People are calling it the Crystal Tornado. Why not Earthquake? If you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's really aggressive. I agree. Allow me to send the troops. I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. Uh, what's that gonna do? <laughs> Dude, th that's not gonna... <laughs> One hit and it's over? I don't believe it. That's not possible! Okay, listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher than it looks. Time to show what it's really made out of. When I've been seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks, and if you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat. Lucky for us, our Oni Kabutu has a little thing called agility on their side. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... <laughs> um. Well. Belly. <laughs> Oni King. Shall I send in some more Oni Kabuto, or... Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, what? What's Gooba doing? No! Huh? <laughs> Wait, the Vishap can understand Guoba? I just upped and left. So, to answer your question from a moment ago, I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time he came to gather crabs in the Gunyan Storm Forest. Tornado gave Guoba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. But then, Tornado fell unconscious and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. Man, what a cool guy. I mean, I figured he was pretty good, pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but i never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. Guoba's the most powerful being confirmed. Yeah. This is a warrior with strength the likes of which I've never seen before. I must say, I concur. I don't know how, but Guoba-san simply commanded that heart-shelled beast to stand down and retreat at once. And to think of it, he seems like a pro at catching crabs too. Hmm. Kuba-san clearly has some sort of power that lets him bend the minds of shelter organisms at his will. That's it! The truth has been hiding in plate and sight all this time. Kuba-san is the virtuoso beetle battler. With his skills, he can direct an Oni Kabuto's each and every move. I have to go to school. Alright, see you later, Crystal. You're totally not gonna catch me after a few hours. <laughs> Huh, of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. Huh, these are the kind of brainwaves that make you and the Arataki gang's greatest ally. If we can get Gubasan to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle, fi uh, beetle fighting world will be our oyster. Huh? Can we stop discussing what special powers Gulba may or may not have? We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then the whole trip will be a been, whole trip would have been a waste. Right. Get a move on, bold chucker. Shinobu's waiting for you. Also, we want to eat. Huh? Wait. 
When did you get two new people? Oh, compadre! Ha ha! If it isn't the only king's right hand, and of course, the flying le- I mean... <laughs> sorry. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Wait, ah... Uh, don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Ah, it's so humiliating. Yep, yeah, sorry for lurking. <laughs> and for anyone else lurking as well, you might as well come on now. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Only Kabutu don't stand a chance against a Geofish Shep hatchling. Next time, just give it a couple of whacks with your club. Yeah, but that would defeat the whole... Okay, okay, just, they're just talking about it. so much dialogue. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Bullet Shucker, he said something that made sense. Okay, just... Yeah, let's just... Context set a rip ring here. Shut on Mightiest Battlers. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and it's going to lead us to the mini game, which we're going to play. Let's up the arena. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, they're running fast. <laughs> oh, woo! Mm hmm. I feel high call. My mother before. Mm 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 mm. Shinobu was saying that Arataka game came to leeway for her classmates' reunion, right? Won't throwing an impromptu battle, beetle fight, and comp competition interfere with their plans? Well, no, nothing much we can do about it except head back to one man and tell Shinobu. Yep. That's all we can do. Not much we can do. We can't convince them at all or anything. That's nothing in our jurisdiction. Well, gotta tell them sad news that they won't be getting the crabs. Or it's with her. Wait, where are the other two? Let me guess. Ito and Hanakato are up to their usual antics. We'll fill you in shortly. First, I need to get all these pristine ingredients safely stored away. The Miss Flower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer. Plus, Hawaiian uh, Paimon are valued customers eagerly waiting his grand feast. I'll get cooking and then we can catch up while we eat. Hell yeah, eat some food, baby. Yeah, we'll tell them about the camp. Arataki Blazing Armor Battle Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? That doesn't bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. We're guests here, which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Even to me, I'll put a stop to it. Mm, I don't know, I think it could be fun. Anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. According to the comprehensive compendium of Liyue Law, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. You never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have you'll have even more people to hang out with when you come when you next come to Liyue. Yeah, and you can bring them all to one main restaurant for your meals. Yeah, put in a sponsor. <laughs> well, wait. First the event, and now you're already planning our next trip. Ah, uh, given the Arataki gang's financial situation. Oh, come on, you gotta learn to cut loose some more. You came all this way, you should be focused on catching up with old friends, make up some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. Like what we're doing now! We need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for someone, something else anyway, so I can get the ball rolling for, rolling for Ito's thing while I'm here. Why is it so hard for me to read words? All right, I'll help. I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later and bring the permit with me. Bye bye. Oh, Yanfei's in a good mood today. She didn't even take any persuading to help out with the event. Well, event planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the ma in Masterful Chefs contest, and she has a lot of contacts because of her work. She's also on a vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in a mood to have some fun. Well, I missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. Guess I got no choice but to deal with the boss directly now. Alright, Pai why? Paimon, thank you for your help so far. I will promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. Ah, you mean you don't need us to come with you? But if Ito's serious about defeating that Geovishep hatchling with on Onikabuto, I was kind of curious to see how it goes down. Now that he mentioned it, didn't you help boss out a lot in the last one of the last one of these? 
the almighty Arataki Extraordinary and Exhilarating Extreme Beetle Brawl. I'm surprised you remember the name. <laughs> we just played a few matches, but it was actually super fun. Either way, it sounds like you understand Boss's perspective far better than do I than I than I do. Blah, 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 blah. Ah! These words. So maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. I'll take all the help I can get. Sure, or you know, maybe we could just let him go ahead with it, huh? <laughs> so much dialogue. So much, so much. So many things to do, so little time. Oh, I should probably buy some stuff from him too. I like something made. No, do you have any wares I can buy? Uh, what are you selling? Oh, I already bought it. I already bought it from Monstead, so I guess I can't buy here. Oop. All right, down back there again. How much time do we have on this again? Last time we checked, it was three hours. Now it's two. Oh, well, it's exactly three hours. Aha! <laughs> no nutting on my head. That's rude. That's super rude. Doo -doo. Ah! Ah! Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Oh, whoa, what the hell? What the hell? All right, boss. Fun time and leeway's over. Let's head home. Wait, Shinobu? I can explain. No, you can't. Our funds have run out. We spent too long here. After buying our tickets for the boat home, the gang fund is down to double digits. How can we possibly afford to hold a tournament? Yanfe Senpai was very kindly offered to handle the legalities. Otherwise, you wouldn't even have a permit. Are you expecting her to foot the bill as well? Put a stop to this as well. Put a stop to this now before things get out of control. But, but... Oh, you don't understand. We have a situation here. Normally, I'm happy to do things your way, but the Arataki gang's two top Onikaba to warriors just lost some pet frog called the Crystal Tornado. Look, we have the whole arena set up and everything. If we back out now, we'll be the laughing stock of the entire beetle fighting world. You lost plenty of bad beetle fights before. Even I can beat you and I'm not even a serious player. Why are you so bothered about losing to some Vishop hatchling? Shinobu! That was a low blow. Anyways, that's ancient history. I'm on a whole different level now. There isn't a single beetle fighter out there who can touch me. I'm serious about beating that pet rock. Don't you think don't think I got what it takes? Try me. Gladly. You want to do this the hard way? We'll do it the hard way. Grandmaster Hanakado, get me and Boss a beetle each. Maybe he'll be more amenable to reason after a crushing defeat. <laughs> Drink six water balls tonight? Uh, yeah, calm down there, sir. If I win, you have to come back with me. No complaining. And no making any more trouble for Yanfe Senpai. Shinobu! Oni King! I... You're really doing this, huh? I, uh, didn't think you'd take it this far. Okay, uh, so, Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, I delegate this challenge to you! You're making Paimon fight me? <laughs> no surprises here. So predictable. What Bullchucker is really saying is, if you want to fight the Oni King, you have to go through the Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon first. Exactamundo, amigo. Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon is one of the Arataki Gang's top beetle fighters. But even she isn't in the same league as moi. So Shinobu, if you want to do with the Dawn, you gotta beat the Melon. Wait, so he knows the word amigo, but that's a Spanish word. And we're mainly like in Asia? He's from Asia? How does he know Spanish? Has the Spanish ever met the Japanese? Except Paimon refuses. <laughs> 
Even Paimon knows that you can't just expect other people to pick up your slack all the time. It's not right. If you're out of Mora, then tough luck. You gotta watch your spending. <laughs> I like the way how he said it. If Paimon helps you out, that'll just make more trouble for Yanfei, and then Shinoa will owe her a favor. Okay, true. You make a fair point. But it's all good. I have a backup plan for situations like this. If we're really out of funds, then... I'll fight a job. I'll work nights, do beetle fighting during the day, and pay in expenses out of my own pocket. It'll work. The Grand Master has helped me find a new good gig, a few good gigs before. As long as it's physical work and the pay's good, I'll take it. And he says comprende. I know. It's, it's so weird. It's so weird. Hey! That's great. Awesome. See, that's the kind of attitude Paimon can get behind. I can't believe you guys. Your plan is all well and good, and I do hope you try not to be a burden on other people, but you still need to beat me first. I know what boss is trying to do. He's making me fight Paimon first to use up my Onikab Onikabuto stamina. Well, good luck with that. Even with a disadvantage, I'm still not going to make this easy for you. Um, I don't know how to play this. I haven't done the, the, uh, the normal game of ore. Um. Uh. Uh. Uh, okay, D. Press A to command the, okay, dodge. Oh. The right charge left is in reach. Stop the whole, okay. Hey. Press Q to command the, use guard, defend, okay. Oh, okay. Hold Q to command them to use guard to defend against jet stream attacks. Perfect. So that's how you play the game. Game experience right there. Uh, Shinobu narrowly loses. After fierce battle, Shinobu only narrowly loses to Crimson Staff under Paimon's direction. Wait, we didn't get to play it! I can't believe it! That was so tense! Shinobu nearly got the better of Paimon there! Damn! Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon destroyed Shinobu on the first attempt. You really are a natural at this, aren't you? As agreed, we now have Shinobu's official support to host our Taki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. I haven't battled in ages. Guess I'm out of practice. I'm surprised that you, she even practices this. I have to move to plan B. Try to keep costs to a minimum and make sure Yanfei Senpai doesn't end up doing everything for us. I'm gonna hold you to your word, boss. Fund this event yourself by working nights. Battle battle beetles all you want during the day. And one other thing. Our boat tickets home are booked well in advance. I can't amend the date, but only by a few days. So keep this event to maybe four or five people tops. You, or you'll run out of time, all right? I don't want you to get carried away. Got it. Sure. Promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. Shinobu, you've got nothing to worry about. All right. I'll head down to the harbor and see about changing the tickets. I'm warning you, you better not go spending all our Mora while I'm gone. Okay, so we've got five battles to get in shape enough for Gulbasan. Then we gotta master what he teaches us. Then take out that cocky pet rock. Ah, Shinova's asking us to do the impossible here. But this is the kind of hardcore challenge I live for. Don't worry, Oni King. I'll find people to join us in our great training endeavor. As long as there are worthy beetle battlers to be found, I'm be sure to sense their presence. Bring them over to our camp. We haven't been in Leeway for long, but I'm certain that this vast land is filled with mighty warriors. We have no trouble finding but one of e one of these each day. Now as for the Steam Oni King's right hand and honorable stike leaving white iron lavender melon. Oh, we've done our part. We saved your butt by getting Shinobu to get a agree to this. Paimon saw the look of sheer terror on your faces. You're clearly no match for her. <laughs> ah, of course. Uh, I'll leave it to me. I'll come up with something. You'll get your reward, don't worry. In the meantime, if the Oni King's right hand in sky cleaning white iron lavender melon doesn't have any other plans, then prepare to watch history in the making. Because in a few short days, I, the bonafide beetle battle king, will raise my game to new heights with the respect of Gubasan and Binky become a living legend. Booyah! Cool. Yeah, we'll be watching, so uh, no pressure or anything, but 
If you mess this up, everyone completely wipes the floor with you and we'll see the whole thing. Ha 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 ha! Tap forward and start to move half a tile. Half a tile forward to get close to its opponent. The will not be okay. Hold the butt four button to instruct the charged energy. When a charge proceeds, and then don't know soon again. Rush is important. It can deal with the contain this and travel, and the DMG will do. Fully charged rush will take two tiles forward. Okay. Reaches its opponent exact position upon finishing its rush and hits it, it can perform a piercing strike to deal greater damage. You cannot trigger this one by tapping to advance, and overcharging will not allow you to trigger it either. Uh, the time spent charging decides the rush distance. You can use the charging process to judge how far tap and expend a certain amount of stamina and structure when move one tile backward and dodge your opponent's attacks. Your timing of dodge is incorrect, your Onika is incorrect. Uh, if both Oni Kabu 2 and release your attacks at the same time, your Oni Kabu 2 will be knocked down without dealing to anything. Press the guard button to consume stamina and form a shield against hostile electro bullets and jet streams. Okay. I think I'll just have to get used to it. Why is she here? <laughs> My reputation is destroyed! Uh oh. Oh no! It was an honor doing battle with you, good sir. <laughs> what the? So polite! <laughs> ah, so been busy losing while we were away, bull chucker. I don't see you that way. Unless the bonafide beetle battle king is ready to give up now, he hasn't lost to me yet. In battle and in life, it's normal to hit setbacks every once in a while, but a setback only turns into a failure if you decide to make the decision to stop trying. Word. Heck yeah. I ain't about to admit defeat yet. Still, there's nothing to be gained from constantly making excuses. Don't put all your energy into talking garbage. Spend it on fighting a little harder instead. Oof. Burn. Oni King, this brand of enemy doesn't seem to be your area of expertise. I advise you to send in another of your generals and deserve the duel in detail. Watching others do battle is also a crucial part in a warrior's training. Some skills one learns by doing, others learns through observation. Good point, Grandmaster. And good timing, compadre. Oni King's right hand, and I'm handing the fight over to you. <laughs> Finally, it's your turn. Piece of cake. With a legendary Y, guess I better look sharp. Oh, ho, ho, I don't even know how to battle. Oh, mm hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Aha. No. Uh. Shit. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I kill it? Oh, that was easy. That's actually pretty easy. 40 seconds. Okay, so there's a time limit to this. Nicely done. You beat me. I go as far as to say that it's an honor to lose against wine. Oh, so that's how you do it. I never would have thought of that. Yep, when you're against a cunning enemy, you gotta get creative. If you're going on an enemy of a cunt, then you gotta get creative. <laughs> when your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often had to think on our feet. Cling to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. I think Shinobu said something like that once too. I guess there's something to it after all. But I'll mull it over some other time. Right now, my focus is on the task at hand. More beetle fighting. Cool. I'm just gonna beat her right here, right now. Let's go. That one. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh shit! How did she do that? Uh uh. Uh uh. 
Ja! Na ah, na ah, na ah, na ah. Okay. Wait a bit, wait a bit. Wah! Fuck! Asha! She said. <laughs> I did it! I did it! <laughs> Alright. This time, we're gonna go for the most difficult of them all. Alright. Complete. Oh. And yes, yes. Difficulty once. Okay, we gotta definitely do that. Extremely agile. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Acha! Aha! 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 Shit! <laughs> Opa! She's dead. Nya, 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 nya. Wow, that was. It's not that hard as I thought it was. I mean, maybe not getting hit is also preferable. What did you say about the Wheel of Fortune thingy, bro? I didn't say anything about that. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Oh wait 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 hold up there, there was there's prizes to get yeah challenge awesome take a wait didn't I do that though take a part in a duel on the utmost might difficult yeah I did I did that what's going on here more beetle battling interested newcomer because I asked what you think about doing it again oh yeah I I think I'll I'll pass for now I don't really want to play that. At moment oh there's more okay i didn't even see them hello all i am iron tongue tian here with the official sign board for the arataki blazing armor beetle battle boot camp it also doubles as your permit to run the event oh awesome 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 i won a battle though esquire yeah 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 whatever whatever just let me fight him i want to fight We've got less than three hours to finish all this. We can't waste time. Let us begin. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Wow, fuck. What is with this guy? What's he made out of? Oh, he's dead. Something gothic vampire? Wait, who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Wonderful! I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely committed- Okay, so he's just gonna talk about a little spiel, whatever, whatever, whatever. To dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. The girl you're using? Oh, her? She's a nun. She's a, um, a nun of a church, but she's also an assassin. You know, I'm, I'm a little disappointed you didn't know the name, but, you know, it's fine, it's fine, you know? Not everybody can know all the names. She thick? Hell yeah. Wait, um, TP, do you know the characters in the game? I don't know if you know. You know me. Oh, we should do something. I kind of want to see uh, your reaction to these characters. Not now, though, because I'm in the middle of some important stuff here. Nuh uh. Come on. Right? Oh, nope. Oh, and he's dead. We can do it. Hey, 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 Rosaria. I know. I love her. I love Rosaria. That's why she's like my front runner. But I have to change her soon because I want to. I want to. I want to use Shenha. Yeah, okay, they're going through dialogue. It's like, uh, yeah, this is a really great battle. And then we got to battle Yanfei, because she's the one who's going to do the. I have a body pillow casing with three Genshin Impact characters. I don't know who they are, but one is Ketching or however you sp Really? <laughs> Wait, you don't play the game, but you have a body pillow of Ketching. 
That's impressive. <laughs> impressive is that you... You play... <laughs> that you have a body pillow of characters of a game that you don't even play. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, God. She has a big one. Why? Ha! Nope. Not giving you a chance. Oh, shit. Aha! Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, she. Oh, it's dead. Wow, that was quick. I thought they would get have more give. They just. They're just not. They're not that strong either. I've never played Azure Lane either, but that didn't stop me from taking a body of two of the finest captains from that game. Or I think they're captains. <laughs> wait, what are their names? I, um. Oh, wait, we can fight Gulba. I think I might know them, but uh, I don't know. It's a little hard to remember these Azerlane characters. The day has finally come. I can now come. He's got a brand new Oni Kabuto. <laughs> Build a Brazilian wood. It's wearing a suit of armor. Oh, damn. Is that legal? I don't even know if that's legal. Interesting. Guoba's too powerful now. I know. He's got he's got a beetle with wooden armor. They boosted his stats. That's not legal. I mean, are we gonna beat him though? Poya. Oh shit. Nope. Nope. Uh oh. What the fuck? He can do that? Come on. Wah! Wah! Ha 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 ha! Atago and Takao. Okay. Um, Azure Lane, Atago. Oh, yeah. She is hot. <laughs> Takao. Oh, they both look very similar. I can see that you're starting to have a type now. Uh, yes, I shall drink. Wait, Crystal's still here? I thought. Wait, Crystal, I thought you were at school. What happened to school? Mm. Between the ways of shelled organism communication. She bing chilling. <laughs> we lost me in battle. Yeah, yeah, it's a dialogue, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> maybe I am, maybe I'm not. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Something, something, something. Something, 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 something. Just a tenth of percent. Blah, 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 blah. Just one thousandth of its top power. <laughs> Yeah, we're playing to Dragon Ball Z levels. Yeah, but there's no way to defeat defeat that tornado with those. I gotta study mechanics, then build a suit of armor for Crimson Staff that'll take his abilities to a whole new level. Or maybe. Heck, I could build a bigger, stronger, mechanical only Kabuto, piloted by Crimson Staff under my direction. Piloting a mechanical only Kabuto? How do you expect to pull that off? And does that even still count as a beetle battle? <laughs> Seeing the power of Bloom Pruners made me realize something. There's a natural limit to Oni Kabuto's strength. People have tried to tell me this before. Shinobu, the Grandmaster, especially Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon. Admitting defeat is shameful, but not even trying to mix up your taxes one time, that's just plain stupid. Kubo san has shown me a new path, mechanically modified Oni Kabuto. With this new technique in my arsenal. Oh, uh, okay, okay, whatever. A lot, of, a lot of text, a lot of text. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, she came back. Unfortunately, studying is very expensive. They are talking against tight. People expenditures are drop are dropping the ocean by comparison. So, what do you intend to do about it? 
I know what I'm getting into here, all right? I got it all planned out of my head. It's not like I've never got paid for it before. As soon as I earn it, we'll all have cash for the burning. And I don't think one second I'll be abandoning you or the rest of the Artaki gang neither. I ain't the kind of head honcho that runs off to go study and leaves his gang behind. If we're gonna study, we do it as a team. Once I've got enough more for everyone's tuition fees, the whole Artaki gang is coming to Leeway. We'll study together, learn some epic new skills together, and come out the other side that that's the stronger, smarter, invincible Artaki gang. Uh, I have a large body pillow with three casings. One is some random hot character, a pirate VTuber marine, and three Genshin Impact characters. God damn. God damn, Leo. God damn, TP. You got... <laughs> if you are interested in the character so much, why not play the games that they're from? Who are you and what have you done with boss? Whoa, bull chucker. Yeah, yeah he's like not his usual self. What are, what are you saying? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, text, text, text. We've got no time. Blah, 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 blah. They're just going to talk about the exposition, him. A gift? Freebies for the win! Yes. 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 I can't wait to see Crimson Stab join in ginormous. Yeah. He's <laughs> just standing in the distance. Yo, yeah, you joining on Lethal Company stream this Sunday? Today is Sunday, Panda. So, TP, what do you mean? And also, um, what, what lethal company for me is Monday lethal company stream this Sunday. Uh, what lethal company? I don't remember talking about that anywhere. Hey, hey, oh, dude, this is a lot of primal gems. I should probably do more of the fighting. Dude, I think I might have enough to wish, but not now. We gotta do it for Xian Yun. We can't do it for these other characters I already have. I don't need any other characters. Hua! 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 Ow! Come on. Ha! Ah ha! Uh oh. Oh shit! Up -ha! Oh, shit. Ha! Huh. He dead. That's me when I have to read a book. Too much text, let's read them. Let's read that when I have more motivation. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. Uh, Like in the collab channel, you said you tempted to join or something. Oh, that one. I thought that happened already. Um, I don't know. I think, uh, what is it? At the time, when I said I wanted to do it, that was before I had a collaboration with some other people playing that exact same game. But um, I think the way how it went, it's kind of like m motivated me to not play the game. I'm not really interested in playing the game at the moment. What's your move? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh-uh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Ooh. Ooh. Boink. 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 Fuck! Boink. Boink. Ha <laughs> How was the experience in Lethal Br Lethal Company? Um, it was good. It was fun. I, I I kind of understand the mechanics, but I think the way how it was portrayed to me, I'm like, I don't really want to play it anymore. <laughs> I think I've I've had my fill already. All right. Come on. 
Nuh-uh. <laughs> nuh -uh. nuh, -uh. nuh, -uh. nuh -uh. <laughs> Dude, this is actually kind of fun. I like the Beetle game. <laughs> interesting, interesting. And I'm gonna battle you. Oh wait, so that's that, that, and that. Oh wait, did I not? Uh, I guess I'll, I'll see who I missed and we'll go back to them later. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, fuck. Oh yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Hata! Oh shit. Oh, come on. Oh shit, I thought it was out of range. Oh, she dead. Oh, she dead. She dead. <laughs> Dude, this is actually kind of fun. I can't believe I can't believe this is an actual mode <laughs> inside Genshin. This is fun. Ah! You ain't getting the jump. Oh fuck! You kidding? You kidding? Oh shit. No! I refuse. Oh shit. Ugh! Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh! Uh oh. No! I lost! <laughs> try again, try again, try again. I can't lose. I can't lose now. Uh-oh. No! I meant to dodge. What? Hooah! No, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Hooah! Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Hoo-cha! Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Ah, no! Yes! Whew. Okay. All right. <laughs> there we go. And it is over. I think, um... Hold on, hold on. I just need to see... Okay, we got that. We got that. Who did we not do? Ultimate Trial of the Strong. Who is that? Who's that? Buttercup of Tear? Okay, we... Alright, no, there's check marks on the top of their heads. But we didn't finish her. Alright, let's pick on this little kid. Okay, what's your move? What? Hoya! Oh, shit. There are two shots. Oh, but... oh shit. And uh, oh shit! Are you, you fucking kidding me? Oh Ow! I don't even have enough space. That's not fair. But it doesn't matter because I won. That's all that matters. Give me the. Okay, we're done with her. We just need to do Gulba. Yes. It's funny how the mascot character is the one that's doing the fight, not actually her. Ooh. 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 Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay. I thought I was in trouble there. Nope. Nope. Oh. Ooh-yah! Ooh-yah! Oh, oh my god. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, now you can beat out. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. I thought I died, but I did not. Apparently, I did the win. I did the win.
And we gotta do it one more time. I shall be your Ito! Oh god. What is that? What could that be? What's this? Oh, oops, I didn't mean leave. I didn't mean leave. Go back, go back. Yes, I shall be your Ito. Let's go. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. No! That's so unfair. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Uh-oh. Don't know what that means. Shit! Come the freak on. <laughs> Come! Really? Uh, that's BS. That is B F and S. What you gonna do? Okay, carefully, carefully. Oh. Nope. 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 Okay, how many? How, okay, you're just gonna kill yourself. Okay, I, <laughs> I didn't do anything there. That was all him. I didn't do anything at all. He just kept shooting at me until he just died because I had to keep him putting it back. Is that all? Wow, that's it, isn't it? Hold on. Hell yeah. Get the prizes. Um, what's this? Beetle Beetle Ultimate Trials Event Details. Yep, did that. Did that. Did that. Did that. Hey, looks like we got it all completed. Really? Wow, that was easy. I mean, not that it was bad, it was just... I, I thought it would take a little longer. Alright. Commercial location? No, no, we already, okay, we already know where he is already. So we're done with that. Oh, well, what's that over there? I can't believe I totally forgot what that is. Come on. <laughs> you can't escape now, bitch. And he is down. He was guarding. You ever taken this yet? The hell? Hey, what are you? Um. Have we done that before? Exactly sure. Oh well, all that matters is that we've done the the beetle thing. <laughs> that is quite hilarious. Oh, we gotta do the the training game too, dude. There, there's like a lot of things I gotta do. I've missed out on so much for so long. And is there any that has a timer on it? Others. Oh, Adversial. Oh, quarter font. We're not even there yet. We're not even there. Uh, ba 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 ba. Wait, 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 wait. Can't claim keys. Nope. Nope. Are there any characters that we can do right now? No, we cannot. Nope. I want to use the keys. I want to. Keys. How about that one? That one? That one? We already finished all those. But I gotta use the keys. Why won't you let me use the keys? Hmm. All, all of them. 
I guess we'll just do this one for now. Yeah, that's close enough. And off we go. What's down here again? Oh, we have to go around. What a roundabout way to get to places. I'm still not really familiar with these locations. It's going to take a while for me to get accustomed to. Ooh. Dinyar, Dinyar Zod, we're back. IG came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Mmm, the festival is tomorrow. We have been preparing for so long that I can't feel, feel a little nervous. No need to feel nervous. Paimon's sure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Discover anything over there? Of course we went. A lot of things happened there. Unfortunately, we didn't see any new information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. I see. Sounds like you two had other exciting adventure. If there is another chance, I would love to join. Oh, 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 is it that character? <laughs> My lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. Oh, it's Dehia. Oh, it's called covert protection. Keep an ear out for what's going on going on around my employer's part of the job. All right, see you later, Crystal. It's all right, Dehia. I merely said that I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. The festival is tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you, so Dehia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Hmm. Even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. Okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are going to take advantage of that. <laughs> oh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. I apologize for not realizing this sooner. I've already, I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Hell yeah! Paimon is so ready. My body is ready for this. The morn of a thousand roses bring. Uh, we're going this way. That that way. So we're going this way. Yeah, that way, please. Oh, oh. There. What's here? Here we are. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really nice. Yeah. Sorry for the trouble. <laughs> Not that I would really apologize. Not at all. Just tell me more about your adventures when you get next get the chance. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next time. Oh, if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? All my friends will be working at the festival, and they are still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah, it'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if De Dea is constantly hovering over you, yeah? I'll keep you company tomorrow. Hey, a little, a little double date, what'd you think? A triple date? <laughs> and let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. Have a great night. It's a deal. Good night, Dinyarzad. Din oh, it's so hard to read. I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Paimon starting to really look forward to the Saber Zoo Save Save Zero Save Festival too. Will there be lots of yummy food? Oh no no! Thinking about food just gonna keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep, the better. Let's go inside. Traveler. My favorite part of Genshin is when Paimon calls someone a bastard and seals their credit card. Mm-hmm. That totally happens. Did we oversleep? We should go meet Dunyarzad right away. Uh-oh, did something happen? Is there like a setup or something that'll happen? Uh, that away, please. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Traveler, Paimon, I've been waiting for you, do. Good morning, Dunyarzad. We must have overslept a little bit. Nah, not at all. I arrived early. T today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You work so hard for this day. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. Ah, you know it. It's just that, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, shall we? We shall start with the stalls over there. Cool. Hold up, just gonna... Any vendors come out of the blue to support the event, and they assist on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. <laughs> Definitely business that belongs to us. Really? I feel like that. Dude, look, look at those. Wait. Look at those hips! It's for days! Sorry, I know she's probably talking about something really important, but... Oh my god! Look at those! This is a stall offering foods from the Haft Moa Feast. Oh, you could tell straight away? I thought most people nowadays would know. Mushrooms, flowers, all kinds of fruit. It's all vegetarian stuff. Well, Pine One's a little disappointed. So what's the Haft Moa Feast you mentioned just now? It's another Sabzeruz festival tradition. You think I would be able to pronounce Sabzeruz when Sabz in Persian means green? I should know this, yet I look at the word and it doesn't translate well into my brain. It's another Sabzeruz festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods like the Ruk... What? The Rukashava Rukash mushrooms, the Nilopala Nilosis, Sumer roses, Sensetias, Kalpaladas, Arafurts, and Zaitun peaches. So the Subzeru's festival is a vegetarian holiday. <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Wait. But if that's the case, if Sumeru uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be food full of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? Traveler, we have to go to Natlin as soon as possible. <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks! Alright, how about we also check out some of the other stalls? Hell yeah! Dear customers, would you like to try our hand at, alchem at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two sound. Those two things sound like to be fun to try together. Right? I thought the same when I first heard about it. It's said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. So, how does it work? And it's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it'll probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. <laughs> For some reason, I don't buy it. Well, according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected, and all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You can say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunyarzad says it? Are you guys working together? <laughs> so that's the true wisdom behind it. The young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? Alright. Um, ooh, uh, hmm. Jeez. Um... Uh, Noculus Jade? With, uh... Use this flower Corolla. I don't know what they'll do, but it should be nice. Okay, one moment. Hmm. It's the moon. Paimon wants to take a look too. Is it? Looks more like a pie that Paimon been into. 
Hmm, generally speaking, the moon signifies... It means... Uh, wait a moment. <laughs> he sounds less credible. <laughs> Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Illusions and lies. That sounds rather ominous. Well, yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Ah, no, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> Definitely not a scam. I guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. Look at those hips! I can't really see it because he's wearing a... Nilo's dance of Sabzaruz will be impressive. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Pretty great. There is. Attention! Soldiers fall into formation if you want any of the candies. Whoa, okay. Whoa. <laughs> it's a weird guy with a weird hat. Ah, oh, hey, it's Nyarzad! Ah, Mr. Nyarzad, the children love you even more than Yala candies. In a few short days it took to prepare for the Sebzarus festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Ha! <laughs> Hallowed Knight of Follow Flowers, it's an honor that you know my name. Uh, 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 attention! In the name of Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sebzarus Festival. All right, little shoulders, take your yellow candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! <laughs> That's cute. Bro is literally howling Arzaria. Dude, I mean, I've got a preference. Uh, just what is going on here? <laughs> Ferris the Knight of Flowers is another Sabzaru's festival icon, and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to that Miss Dunyar's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. Uh, the kid is still there though. There's still a kid there. <laughs> As we are to you, Vihar. Not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalda candies? They're a festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick it whichever you want. Whichever want? Whichever one? Don't these boxes all look the same? Ha! Huh. This is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, power flu, and sedia. Oh, that sounds pretty good! And there's also Lizard Tail and only Kabuto. Uh oh, we were just playing a game with those. Ah, what's up with those two flavors? Oni Kabuto is a little spicier than Lizard Tail. Dinyarza, you you tried them before? Uh, traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants a Sensetia flavor. Uh, don't blame me if I choose the wrong one. Paimon believes in you. Ooh. Any number one from five from left to right, which one do you want? Damn. Uh, I'll... Mm, I'm more... Four. Mm, wait, let me get a thought. Two? Mm, no. Wait, which one? Which one's the blue one? Five? No, 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 no. A little thought. It's uh, three. No. One? Yes, definitely number one. Unfortunate <laughs> lizard tail. Paimon thought you survived so many battles because he had incredible luck. But looks like Paimon was wrong. <laughs> the Sensetia flavor- Oh, but oh, that was the first one I was thinking of! And it's a good preference. Thank you. <laughs> mm, thank you. How about this? The most important thing is that everyone has a good time at the festival. So please, take both boxes. Really? 
Thanks a lot, Knight of Candies. It's Knight of Flowers, not Knight of Candies. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriage list Knight of Flowers. They're all basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Oh, actually, I remember I left something behind. Since you're here, can you come with me to get it? Not a problem. You probably forgot because you were so excited about the Sevzeru's Sev Sev Festival. <laughs> How embarrassing. Oh boy, oh boy. Where did you go? Where did you go? I guess we're just going to walk there. Do, 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 do. Okay, thank God we didn't have to like walk aside her because that was going to take forever to get all the way up there. All right. What are we getting? Oh. We're too late. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? I know, right? Hey, wait a minute, boss. Isn't that her? Oh, come on. Don't you dare do anything. We're in luck. She's rocking right into our clutches. Oh, come on. Don't you dare. Those Eremites don't look like they're up to any good. Who are you? I don't believe the Ho Homayanis hired you. Ah, that's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but I wonder how much the Ho Homayanis would shell out to get you back. They're a gang of kidnappers. Definitely. Okay, professional here. Oh? Did you scumbags even consider that the Homayanis might have hired a merc that outclasses you? You're Dehia? The flame main? No wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your unruly main to the highest bidder. Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as a gratitude for her past kindness to us. Some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. Hm. Aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky. No cock! Take Miss Dunyarza to a safe location. Right. Please be careful. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I wipe the floor of them, I'll go find you all. Um, are we? What? What's happening? Are we using? Oh, what? Escape? What? I'm sorry. What? That's kind of easy. Why is there? Why is there a time limit? Huh? Are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you in shock? I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dea, after all. None of this would have happened if I insisted on coming out today. Because she agrees with you. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, nothing happened to her, yeah? Please? 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 Please. Peace. Oh, good. Found you. He took care of them so fast. Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? Nope, I just checked. Your arm! A tis but a flesh wound. Normally they wouldn't have been able to la land a hand on me at all. But I'm still getting used to this new great sword. Please let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on. You said something about a new greatsword? What happened to the one you were using before? Oh, well, about that. Well, I sold it because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. Can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't make her cry. Uh... Hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry. I'm not going to lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay. Making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling your weapon without permission and getting hurt, I'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. Oh, God. Thank you very much. No hack! No hack! Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. Uh-oh. She coughing. Where's the Isekai protagonist to heal her immediately? My lady, your condition. Traveler, can you take her somewhere to rest? I'll look around the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. Leave it to me. 
Sorry for the trouble. Well, you know. Where, oh, where can we take her, Mari? Yep, just a little lower, where the air is a lot less thinner. Whew. I feel that breath. Are you feeling better, Dunyarzad? Yes, much better. Just give me a few moments, I'll be good to go. That's how serious is your illness. I didn't realize you were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. Oh, so it was a secret. Uh, I was actually born with Eliezer. It's terminal now. Eliezer? I can't believe it. Oh, you already heard of Eliezer. In that case, you probably know about its severity. Sumira's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through an environmental therapy. No, not LZR. I think it's like the disease that spreads to everyone, right? There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elysir, and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me, so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed me for running away, but I, I didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there is nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival, the joy on everyone's faces here, and all the support I received from friends like Dehya. That this way, when my final this way when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world, right? Yeah, I'll remember you. As long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon will also forget about you. Ah, no. Even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you. Thank you two so much. I apologize for this depressing conversation. This is out of character for me. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all this. If it weren't for encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. You're already so strong for never giving up. Thanks. It will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Right. Alright. Is it almost time? Almost time for what? Isn't the dance of sub sub ah! sub Zeru's about to begin? It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to the most. Naya will recreate the legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the sub Zeru's Oh, she looks suspicious. She looks really suspicious right there. The Sabzaru's festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also. And what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage! Let's to the stage we go! Let's go! Alright, here we go. Go, 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 go. Over here. Turn around. Boink. 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 Uh, uh, boink. And then we go up. <clears throat> Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Oh, come on, there's a problem now. Over there, someone's yelling at Nilo. I think I just saw the Academy as Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of Seb Zeruz is one of the key parts of the Seb Zeruz festival. If we can't perform it, the Seb Zeruz festival. The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the ac academia can host such an event. If you continue to resist, we will have an order of investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the Sabzarus Festival, but they failed the responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. 
Uh, so she's getting ugly. This is a hard pill to swallow, but you're right. Things would only get worse. Arts, dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in the land of knowledge and reason? Wow, they sound like they sound like my, they sound like Asian parents already. Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumero City for all scholars who have sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to, to defile it. No, I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the goddess of flowers dedicated to dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. Damn! When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next the Nargarbha day that prohibits public art performances. You will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Damn, this is... Yes. Oh, come on, man. Hmm. The Sebzeru's festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. One of my favorite arcs, Azar is an is an <laughs> Interesting. And this, Jay. Oh, Dinyarzad. You all saw that just now? The green, the Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. <sighs> Let's go somewhere the academy, academy can't find us and perform there. Ah, uh, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere on the stage? Or do we get a people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance? <sighs> no, they, they just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilo, it's alright. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the dance of Sebzer so much, and I know how important this festival is to you, and I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the Sabzerus festival at this point. I don't want anyone to get in trouble. If you say so, but if you can sneak out for the next Sabzerus festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. The next one. Yes. Okay, it's a promise. It will be a smashing success. Dang, I can't have a feeling she won't be available next time. Those heartless geezers. Is there anything else we can do? It really is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. Ah, uh, still. I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nyla's dance. Damn. Damn, and we just got the little thing about her having Eliezer's. Eliezer's. Ah, uh, a lot happened today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. Nilo and Dunyarzad promised to make the next Sabzeru's Sam festival a success, but Dunyarzad is running out of time. Yeah. Beep! All connections have been secured to construct the most stable framework possible. The project has entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from. What is that? Oh. Uh -huh. We're gonna be late. It's because you wouldn't get out of bed. What, is it my fault all the time? We should go meet Dinyarzad right away. What was that? What was that? What was that earlier? Alright. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Good morning, Dunyarzad. Sorry we're late. Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, you seem kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? We can totally tell based off of the, uh, I don't know, the small polygontal face that you have from the game. Uh, there's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Uh, Traveler, why are you just standing there? Let's get going. Let's go. Let's walk. Oof. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> They're selling food over there. I agree. Oh. Damn, girl. You look so fine. 
Let's eat the food over here. Let's go to the stall that we've already been to before. This is stall offering fruits from the Haft Moa feast. Uh, wait, didn't we? Wait. Hold up. Wait, hold up. Didn't we just... We just did this, didn't we? Wait, something feels really familiar. The remnants be the form of the moon. Wait, hold up. We, we, were, we just did this, though. Huh? The moon signifies... Is it, wait a moment. Oh, wait, hold up. Did we reset, like... What happened? Illusions and lies, but if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. Deja vu? I've just been in this place before. Higher in the streets and I know it's my time to go. On to the next stall. Yeah, this is sounding a little too familiar. But damn, girl. Damn. Oh, damn. Hi, damn. Hi, damn. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, hold up a minute. I'm gonna exit your radius really quickly because I see something I want to get. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell, well, you just had a spear I could just take, didn't you? Where'd you go? Right there. Fatties! Fatties! Alright, soldiers. Now that you have your Yadla candies, don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed. Okay. What's going on? Is this a play? Okay, good. At least I know that this isn't an, like um. I, I thought this was a glitch really quick, because it was all repeating again. Oh wait, don't these boxes all the same? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I'll pine and pick one. Uh, number four. I know for sure it's number four. Excellently chosen. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. Hell yeah. Also, that means what's going on. Paimon bet you had incredible luck. And Paimon was right. That just now. I don't think that was luck. Oh, look, at the, look, at the, look at the little eyes just moving. I don't know why, but I knew it must have been number four. It's obviously random. Maybe we didn't sleep well very well last night? Or maybe we slept too much? Hmm. I need to leave for a moment. Oh, sure. Where are you going? You're just gonna walk off like that? Uh, well, kind of. Unless we're playing, um... Yeah, we're playing Groundhog's Day. Uh, no, 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 I'm not climbing that. Deja vu. I just made it a play before. I don't know what that go. Anything behind here? Nope. And I thought I saw something. What is it that what's what's here? We're in a time loop. Will someone explain it to me? Feeling of deja vu. Paimon knows what it is, and when you feel like you've already experienced whatever is going on, in that case, Paimon felt something like that today. But it's just that our brain's playing tricks on us, isn't it? So why'd you run here in such a hurry? Uh, normally never would. You're intentionally doing things you usually wouldn't, and seeing if you get that same feeling of deja vu. Ah, oh, welcome you two. Are you here for lunch? What would you like to eat? One charcoal bake a gilinox cake, please. Got it. You don't look like you're from these parts, but I gotta say, you've got good taste. I'll give this order to the kitchen. Charcoal baked Ajila Nacht cake. Isn't that like that burn thing that didn't look tasty at all? Oh, Paimon understands what you're trying to do now. You'd never normally order something like this. I don't exactly understand the logic behind that though. Oh, dang. Uh, that thing. Are you really gonna eat it? Isn't this going a bit too far? <laughs> Here it goes! Bottoms up! Ah! Uh, how was it? The look on your face is telling Paimon it tastes awful. 
No, it actually tasted really good. Then, you mean... This flavor? That's impossible! You were just talking about how gross it looked. Could this be a taste of... Case of taste bud deja vu? I couldn't get rid of it after all. Looks like I tried this before. Really? Is this not the first time we've been in this time loop? Paimon also gets the impression that we've been here many times, even though we aren't regulars. Uh, how about we go out again and try something else? Do you think it's a time loop, or do you think people are just resetting their brains with the devices? Uh, interesting. Well, first we're gonna- oh, wait, hold on. First we're gonna have to exit. Gonna have to leave. Then we're gonna have to- I don't know. Go now. Where, wherever it wants us to go, go, where are we going? It's a Dugan! Dugan. 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 Huh? Dinyar is not sitting by herself on that bench over there. <laughs> hush, SJ, hush. Uh, what a coincidence, Zinyarzad. We meet again. Uh, why are you sitting here by yourself? Oh, I ran into some kidnappers just now, but thankfully, Dea came to my rescue. I started to feel unwell after that, so I sat down here. Kidnappers. Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. Dea's arm got scratched, but it isn't serious. Whew, that's a big relief. But Dinyarza, you seem a little down today. It's the Seb Zarus Festival, and you've been looking forward to it so much. Not at all. I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion or strong emotions tend to aggravate my illness. <laughs> I was tweaking and restarted my phone three times until I realized I was part of the story. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. After how many more days my time will come to an end? Paimon doesn't quite follow you, but in Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. Yeah, it can't be because you have El Elizars or anything. I'm sorry for leaving you behind early. It really is fine, I don't mind. Uh, have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Huh? Did something- I mean, aside from being kidnapped by potential kidnappers? Nyarzad, have you ever felt- Deja vu, you know, like when you've already experienced something. <laughs> like deja vu, I've just been in this place for higher in the streets, and I know it's my time to go. Deja vu? No, but my days have been the same for years now. Even if I were feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used to it. Oh, I want sees, then it's only the two of us? It's almost time. Huh? Time for what? Nilo's dance of Sab Zeruz is about to begin. Let's go. Let's go! Ignore the pain you feel in your heart and let's go! Oh, and then it's gonna take us to the stage. Yeah, there we go. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. Blah, 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 blah. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next job. Uh, he said that earlier. Blah, 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 blah. Go celebrate the birth of your gods. And your gonna end. Blah, 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 blah. Bye, you dumbass. Nilo, are you okay? Ah, oh, Dunyarzad. The Grey and Sage ordered us to stop the performance. It's okay. There's nothing we can do about it. You've been really looking forward to this. I don't want you to have any regrets. The next round? I'm probably around by then. What? What? Wait, hold up. She said something, she said something different. What did you just say? No? Nothing? I'll be heading back to rest. Thank you for your help, everyone. I can't believe what those heartless geezers did. I like the outcome was inevitable. Did Dunyarzad already go back? We should also return and get some sleep. Uh-oh. Huh. Was forced to come to an unfortunately abrupt end. And then... You couldn't figure out what that deja vu feeling was all about? 
Maybe it really was because of exhaustion. I haven't thought about it. My head does feel very heavy. Same here. That's why Paimon stopped thinking about it halfway through the day. And how about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? For now, we can check the shock up things to exhaustion. We can do more thinking tomorrow. <laughs> also, have you ever think about that maybe there's a squirrel right above us? I'm just, just a, just a, maybe, <laughs> I was thinking. Oh, observing a modest drop in the output of Nana energy, but values still remain in normal parameters. Continue to monitor for variance in the data and find the cause as soon as possible. Uh-oh, what is going on? Is the system tweaking? The system that's in their ears, is that tweaking? Why does Paimon feel so tired after so much sleep? Anyway, we should go meet Dunyarzad right away. Alright, uh, wait, the quest is completed? The continuation. Oh god. Go, 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 go on an adventure. Good morning, Ninyarzad. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, not at all. I arrived early. Huh? Paimon thinks you sound kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? Well, I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Great idea. Let's go going, traveler. Uh... Oh, it just fades. What's a strong scent of deja vu? It's like, I've been in this place before. Higher in the street. And I know it's my time to go. Ah, it's all thanks to this Junior's uh, sponsorship that the children can enjoy the Sabzaru's festival. <laughs> uh... Uh, are you interested in Yalda candies? I have some boxes of candy here. Pick whichever one you want. Hmm? Not much of a choice. All these boxes look the same. Ah, it's not that simple. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the look of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, harp fruit, and sedia. Hmm, sound pretty tasty. And there's also a lizard tail and an onikabuto. Ah, what are those last two? Hmm, she'll help me choose. Paimon wants a Sinsetia flavor. These boxes are numbered from 1 to 5 from left to right. Which one do you... <laughs> they don't even give us a choice. It's just 4. Oh, I like your confidence. No hesitation at all. Ah, congratulations. Number 4 is indeed Sinsetia. Paimon knew she always had incredible luck. Uh, ooh. Number one is Lizard Tail. How did you know? Don't tell me that you already knew which flavor was in each box. What? She was right about all of them? That couldn't have been luck. How is that possible? I packed all those boxes this morning and they've been sealed ever since. You couldn't have known beforehand. Mind reading? X-ray vision? Wait, they don't have x-rays. You can't say that. See-through vision, that's what you have to say. It's not x-ray vision. Or some kind of magic trick? This is way too freaky. Tell us what's going on! Since when did you get superpowers? Traveler? Oh? What the fuck? Just now that was... Oh, what the fuck? Hey, where are you going? I didn't realize we'd meet her. What the... F what was that? Did you see something? Oh, yeah, I definitely did. There. Oh, I see a child! Run after the child! Follow the familiar figure. Have we met her in uh, in the story up until now? I don't know if we have. There's the child! After the child! Where's the child? Hmm. What are you looking for? Why did we come here? 
There was a child. There's a child. An overwhelming sense of deja vu. Traveler? Oh. Oh. Who the book? Over there. Wait, what? Why is there a bird in the middle of the scene? Why is that so significant? What is going on? <laughs> Hmm. Um. Hmm. What? Wait. That isn't that Dinyarzad? Huh? Hey, what? Why? What's happening here? Why are there two Dinyarzads? You already know this isn't your first Sebz... Sebz... I keep slubbing on that one. Your first Sebz is festival, don't you? Alert. I'm sure you already know how to use this. A knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Uh, you know Paimon? Let's use it together. Uh, this seems kind of sketchy, but Paimon feels like this is what we should do. Uh, uh, okay, just just without explanation. Gotcha. What the? Memories. This is our 20th time at the Sebzerus Festival? Hmm? No, wait. The 30th? 40th? How many times have we been in the Sebzerus Festival? Have we been trapped in a single day? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have even realized. Aha! And then there she is. What the heck was inside that knowledge capsule? Your memories are still scrambled? Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. Uh, let Paimon think. Uh, it's coming back. Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories, and... The knowledge capsule is just your means of showing our minds the way. What about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Are you in a good part of the story? Hell yeah. This is where we're starting to reveal. Oh, we've been in we've been in a time loop. This is ground this is like ground zero for Groundhog's Day. Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation, you two receive the blessings of Dendro, and you also have special sensitive constitutions. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. Hmm. What's wrong with Dunyarzad over there? A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyarzad you were, you were just with is different from the first Dunyarzad you met. The first Dunyarzad is in front of you right now, and she doesn't have a lot of time left. Uh, what I need to do right now is break out of the cycle? Huh. Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. Hey! I know, you introduced yourself before. Good, you passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories and you seem like you know what's going on. Wait, please don't tell Paimon even if even you don't know. Even in this world... Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called a samsara. You, me, and everyone else are stuck inside a one-day samsara. As for the truth, that's on you to find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your minds. I, w I don't know how you'd be after that. I can only give you surface level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Her illness gets worse after each Sabzeru's festival. I can't see that. If we can break out of the Samsara, I might be able to save her. But as things are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. 
You sure love to use weird analogies. Analogies are wonderful tools. They, lead, they let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so, with what you know so far, what do you think the truth is? Let me collect my thoughts. Uh, what the fuck? When you enter a state of contemplation, you can choose any text entry to interpret it. The interpretation process involves analysis of the text entry and may yield new entries. Once interpreted, you may submit a text as conclusion. Any text entry is a associated to text entry. If you want a text entry to be conclusion, you can submit conclusion. Okay. Abnormal mental fatigue. The Sapsaru's festival samsara. Deja vu. Uh. Interpret. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. Deja vu. I've been feel I. <laughs> I think I've been in this place before. Higher in the street. Go. <laughs> Only Genshin would make thinking a game mechanic. I know. What's the point of this? Uh. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been stronger and stronger. Okay. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? Divination results. The moon, illusions and lies. What do they all mean? What's the point of this? The Grand Sage said, go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? The Sabzaru's Festival Samsara. We've already experienced Sabzaru's Festival. Sabzaru's. Sabzaru's. Sabzaru's Festival many times. And... The day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. I love the fact that they use a different word for a time loop. Instead of saying time loop, it's a samsara. I like that. Time loops travel plot lines either blow my mind or make me feel dumb as hell. I like this one though. Yeah, I, you know, you know me, I love my time travel and, you know, mind warping types of travel. This is my type of tea. And I love the fact that they use a new terminology to not call it a time loop. Because if it's a if it's your usual time loop story, they're gonna call it, oh, it's a time loop, it's a time travel thing, it's a time, 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 time. But this one they're calling it a samsara. I don't know if that actually means what it actually means in its root, but it's just cool. Please select another text entry to trigger association. Um deja vu. Time loop. That should be it. The flow of time is endlessly cycling within one single day. What, what am I? What? A time loop. You've given similarly wrong answers in the past. A pity. Still a wrong answer? I don't thought that made a lot of sense. I mean, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with this mini game. What is? What are we doing? It feels like time is just repeating itself. A simple time loop can't ex explain some of the phenomena. You two are still missing a lot of information. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more hints. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not mean to make fun of her. It's just, I don't know. Whenever I see that dialogue, I think, <laughs> I think of like the coughing, like bleeding pathetically. Dunyarzad. Uh, the Sabzaru's festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry and find the truth before today's festival ends. How? How do you want me to do this? Let's think about our current situation. Saved in Yarzad, we have to escape the samsara of the Sabzaru's festival. And to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. The truth. Naida rejected the idea of a time loop. We must have missed something, right? Paimon's memories say that we've already done this many times, but let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Why don't we start with those stall owners? Okay, I personally think that, yeah, definitely it's not a time loop. It's probably we're looping the same... Uh, we're, we're, we're like copy-pasting the same day over and over again, but it's we're still going through the same amount of time. I love the coughing cat photo. <laughs> Interesting. Hello? Hey there! Ah, hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? 
Uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Have you trust anything strange lately? Huh? What brought this about? I heard back from the forest yesterday and I'm selling produce here today. I haven't felt anything, anything strange. Uh, to put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? Did you actually come back from the forest yesterday? <laughs> what kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Are you two daydreaming? Didn't you know that one dreams in no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find somewhere to daydream with. Ha 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 ha! Damn. He actually has a point. Is this a dream? Is everyone dreaming? Uh, no one dreams Sumeru. It's weird that people here don't dream. Why? Why is that? Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Let's keep asking around. Alright, let's ask the Candyman. Uh, Mr. Candyman! Oh no, not you. You're the interpreter. Oh, it's you two! Was my divination so accurate you felt compelled to compliment me in person? Oh, I knew it! I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance yet. Ha ha ha! You're really excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. Help us better understand it. Hmm, help you better understand it? Well, that isn't exactly what I excel at. So you're admitting that you don't have a clue. Uh, anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? Uh... Uh, you actually, mm, what should we say? You actually divi divine our fortune many, many times. Uh-huh. Hold on a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or fell for a scam. What you just said, are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? Paimon knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Truly marvelous, I believe you. I recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon illusion and the lies it really felt like an omen. Can you say it like that? The divination does sound like it's related to what's going on. Can you read any more into it? I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. The book only says, if you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. That's how it is. Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. No good for practical problems. <laughs> good to say that right in front of him. Who else can we talk to? Let's try talking to Daya again. Yeah, let's talk to her. Paimon remembers that we've tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks that we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? She cares a lot about her. If we tap into Daya's strong sense of responsibility as a mercenary, then she'll definitely take us seriously. At this time of day, Daya's probably just finished beating up those kidnappers. Let's go find her. Yeah, let's do that, but Dunyar's not supposed to be there for her to do that. Let's continue. Oh, uh, no, it's that way, isn't it? Do, do, do. Oh, oh, no, what? I'm sorry? Tis but a scratch. Perfect timing! Both of you are here. Oh, Paimon, Traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous... Uh... Defeated a gang of kidnappers. Huh? You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? If someone was protecting Ms. Dunyarza, I could have went all out. Anyway, can you do something for me? You want the traveler to take Dunyarza somewhere to take to rest up while you check to see if there are any kidnappers around? Did Paimon get that right? How did you know I was going to say? We need to say something convincing. Fuck. Um. Ooh. Sold her great sword to raise additional funds, and she wasn't injured because when you nah, nah, nah. okay, uh, alchemy divination results moon. Nah, 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 what did they all mean? My mind feels like even though I have done anything wrong. What's going on? Okay. And do not dream. What strange phenomenon? Um, Claymore. Tell her. Uh, you sold your great sword to support the festival. I didn't tell anyone about that, including Miss Dunyarzad. You couldn't have known, and just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? Alright, so, this is the situation. You explain everything. 
And that. It's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers may not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. Haven't you noticed something off about Junyarzad? She's quieter than usual, uninterested in anything, and really gloomy. Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but her parents said that this is how she was like at first. At first? I don't understand what you are talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. Um, hmm. My lady, are you angry? <laughs> Dang. I'll show you some evidence. Alright, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you know about my great sword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzada isn't completely safe here. Alright. Where are we going? We're going inside. Over here. Do 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 I thought I told you it wouldn't help to bring anyone here. You just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Where? And who are you talking to? Huh? I told you that you two are special. The other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Hmm? Hold on. Over there, is that... Oh! You can see her? Wow. How perceptive. How does she have invisible antennae? Does she have invisible antennae? <laughs> Miss Dunyarza, she's lying there, isn't she? How is she doing? Her condition's really bad. She's basically in a coma. How did you know she was there? I can sense her aura. There's also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? The Seb Zarus festival has been repeating itself. How would you feel about a wake-up workout? Now? At 2.40 in the morning? Let's not do that now. Uh, who finally understands the situation, so she finally figures it out! Thank you! Wake him up a little. I'm not sleepy though. I'm, I don't need the wake up workout. Thank you. I don't need it now. So you think the sages are behind this? Yeah, they've always been against us. It wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Samzaru's festival as a sick joke. Hmm, you have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Akdamiya's sages are the only ones in Sumer who can pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know? Nahida, can you tell us anything about the Akasha? Right! Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha. The Akasha relies on the power of the Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of, God's of God of Wisdom's power. It compiles, it compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. It grants knowledge to the people. A Gnosis can do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumer's Archon. So, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she say? She said, in Paimon quotes, the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, and as it is the manifestation of God's wisdom, God of wisdom's power, it compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and it grants knowledge to the people. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Wait. Alright, I shall drink. Oh my god. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> Wait. What's up? I get the grants knowledge part, and that's where people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Most information of the Akasha comes from Erminsil. 
Oh yeah, that sounds about right. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, God, the, the, the information, Akasha. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of the Gnosis to operate, as is the people. Uh, people in Sumerian, what a strange phenomenon. Uh, deja vu. Uh, well, I mean, this is. Wait, is this one? We wouldn't ask for work, guy. He just do it for torture. We dreamed like twelve times in one night. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, it was nightmarish. You mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the desert dwellers set off their, on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge, do you think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? Oh my god, is the Akasha, like, <laughs> is the Akasha like the government where they're extracting information from us and they're compiling it for, their be for the betterment of themselves? Isn't that what the Akasha basically is? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? To get information about us? To gain money? Just think about it. If you can combine the knowledge of every single person of Sumero, then you can basically turn Sumero City into a single massive brain. This, okay, I, I feel like this explanation, the way how, like, it feels like we're in a time loop, and the explanation of compiling all knowledge from people's brains into a single city, it feels very Doctor Who. Does anyone get that vibe? This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumer City to a massive brain? Ah, oh, I love it. In that case, shouldn't we take off our Akasha terminals right away? Maybe that'll solve the problem? Yeah, I was only wearing this for a show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook such a conspiracy. Mark my words, when this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. Okay, that's not- is that- I feel like- I feel like- nothing- nothing- okay? I gotta figure out how to set up coin shit because I'd love to work out on stream. <laughs> anyway, actually I also noticed something else. What is it? There's always a the sound of a beep. Oh yeah, Paima knows what you're talking about. It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal. The sound of the beep. Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? I hear the same sound in Port Ormos. Probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway. Oh! Definitely Doctor Who vibe arc. Yeah, someone definitely is a Doctor Who fan. Oh! I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. Oh, why is it getting darker? We took off our Akasha terminals. How? Uh-oh! Phase runtime has exceeded its expected length. At this rate, there may be casualties. But we cannot lose all of our progress. What sound bite would you replace the beep with? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, what's going on? Oh, Paimon remembers everything! Good. You adapted quickly this time. At the end of last night. We definitely took off our Akasha terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? We've been planted in another form of the terminals? But now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you never told us anything about yourself. Hmm, I guess I'm the moon. The moon? Wasn't that the result of our divination? 
Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth. So you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. Okay then. They helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. Oh, the gagging pup pup fish. Oh! How does it sound? Oh! Something like that. Hey, of course, yeah, good, good, good. We're skipping that part. We don't have to do it again. Ah, there you go. there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Hold on, wait, something's not right. Huh? What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? I, I, I just totally wasn't looking at your muscles. You, you didn't get hurt this time? What do you mean, this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. Mm hmm. Aren't you still getting used to your new greatsword? Mm, how did you know about my greatsword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please don't tell Miss Dunyarzad. The day has lost her memories after all. Did anything feel strange? Anything strange? You already know I got a new greatsword. Hmm. If I had to say something, it's weird how such a new weapon could feel so familiar. It's as if I've already used it to fight a countless number of battles. You're saying that, although you don't remember using it, your body feels like it does. That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. But only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. What do you think? This has never happened before. Okay, so here's my theory. It's not a time loop, because in a time loop, that means everything from memories and um, everything physical has to restart. But I'm feeling that... It's not a time loop because every time we do the same loop again, it's not the it's not anything physical that gets restored. It's the mind that get that gets restored. That's why it kind of makes sense where everyone's connected to the Akasha terminal. It, the Akasha terminal resets everyone's mind. It re resets everybody's minds, but it doesn't reset anything physical. But wouldn't that mean that the damage would still be there then? I don't know. Paimon's feeling really hopeful. Is it possible that we have already broken free? Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened. Well, we'll know for sure at the end of the day. I have no clue what you're talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so... So you want us to take Dunyarzad somewhere else to rest while you check if there's still more kidnappers around, right? Oh, how did you know what I was going to say? Can you read minds? Ah, forget it and go do your thing. <laughs> do as you're told, soldier! Damn, asshole. <sighs> Wait, uh, my mouth is getting dry from doing all this voice acting. <clears throat> Aside from Dea not getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Listen, Aida. We found out that Dea just got out just fine out today, even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Do you think the Samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyarzad? Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Hey, what kind of answer is that? Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes that this is common knowledge, but the only way you know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. How many todays has it been? It's possible that today will be followed by yesterday. Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one endless Seb Zeru's festival. Okay, okay, no more. Paimon's brain is already shut down. Yeah. It's a shame Dea kind of sucks gameplay-wise. I, I, yeah, I love her design. I love the way how they made her. It's amazing. Uh, but then when they announced like how sucky it was of her, uh, the way how she handles, I just... I mean, it's not going to stop me from lo loving her and her design. It just kind of sucks that, that that's the way it is. That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety, duke you. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god. The goddess of wisdom just said, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety dookie away. Hold on, what did you just say? Did Paimon hear you correctly? Yes, you did. People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke du- a du <laughs> That's why I suggested you try that. Is that so strange? I don't think I've ever heard anyone call it a duke duke. It's so strange and so common sense that Paimon is at a loss for words. You're sounding kind of smart just a minute ago. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Even though it's happy and lively at the Sabzurus Festival every day, you feel like it's been a long time since we've really gotten to relax. Let's go back to our room. Uh oh, it beep. Compared to what we stand to achieve, these sacrifices are trivial. Uh oh, sacrifices. <laughs> We're still on the same day. As expected, it's not as simple as we thought. Nahida! You already knew last night that we didn't break out some Samsara. Why didn't you tell us? Would there have been a point? You would have spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest with that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. <laughs> Paimon thought the Duke Duke did that. Ah, whatever. I guess you were looking out for us after all. Of course. In the time that we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Huh? I was kind of flattered and everything, but maybe you're taking things a little fast. Oh, well, what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Uh, Nadia's kind of talking about confusing stuff again. <laughs> anyway, that's enough chit-chat. So, Traveler, did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? It is indeed incorrect. Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Dea's fighting skills have been improving. This has gotten worse. Oh yeah, you're right. Gosh, how do we not notice that? In a simple time loop, people's physical conditions should also reset. So what's your new hypothesis? Uh, a cautious sound. And we said every night, even though we move, remove our cautious terminals. Bodily memories. And that's a memory. Uh, a good divination result. And what do they all mean? Information on the Akasha. I think. Associate with the Akasha sound. Memories are deleted every day. If all our memories are erased at the end of the day, then we would unwittingly relive the same day again and again. The Akasha sound. Um. Wait, wait start again? Erased at the end of the day, then we would unwittingly the same day again. But then the, the, the bodily memories. Right, but then the Akasha sound, the beep is a problem. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, so, combining these two created this one, right? So. Um, then the beep we hear every night could just be indicating the deletion of our memories. That's why when we wake up, everyone thinks the Sepzerus festival hasn't happened yet. It's already the next day, but everyone still thinks it's the day before. But muscle memory can't be erased. That's why Dehi has been getting better at using her greatsword. Now everything makes sense. Hmm, a brilliant deduction. Oh, I like that little clap. <laughs> Tell us if we're right or wrong. To put it simply, it's as if you mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lose sight of its true nature because you're focused too much on your perception as a perception that it glows. That isn't simple at all. Still the wrong, still the wrong conclusion, huh? Why don't you go talk to Miss Dea again? You might learn something new. It did help us find our latest clue after all. Let's go. Oh, okay. Maybe... Huh. Uh, Alright. I mean, that that's what I was thinking too. Like, it, it's not exactly a time loop. It's just that our minds are being reset, but the bodies still remember what happened the day before. 
But wouldn't things like the salesman be like, oh yeah, my food is rotting and I don't know why, even though it's been 40 days? Hmm. It really took me a while to find you. You also didn't get hurt today. Why would I? Don't underestimate me. <laughs> well, sir, you're still getting used to your new greatsword. Truth be told, I think it's pretty sick. Something felt familiar in my hand. Wait a second. How did I know I got a new... How did you know I got a new greatsword to begin with? I didn't tell anyone about it. Uh, Traveler, could you explain the situation to her today? I once gotten a little sick of doing it. Uh, let's get straight to the point. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised that they're not sick of doing all this again and again. You suddenly became proficient with your greatsword because... Um, we lived through the same day many times already. What happened to you guys while I was gone? Did you get brainwashed by some cult? <laughs> uh, don't think too hard about it. Just take what we're saying at face value. Alright then, let me get this straight. You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword, but my brain just doesn't remember it? Yes, your memory's being erased every day. Then I'd have to disagree. That's impossible. Huh? Why do you think that? We've actually been reliving the Sebzerus fe festival day after day. Then what happened to the things we used? The money we spent? The food? Exactly! That's what I'm talking about! All that stuff should have been rotting after like the 30th or 40th day, so why hasn't that rotted? Oh, shit. Ow! Oh no, this is a fantastic choice of plant question after so experiences! Common sense says my water should have been emptied aside a long time ago. There's no real run of dumb fat. I thought about that too. Oh. I have to save this from behind this. Well, I was convinced to the cash of the record everyone did that though, and then you said resources to replenish everything. It's not very really likely, but it's also not impossible. Nope. It's impossible! I've got proof! You have proof? Where? Wow. No two surprises serious about this nonsensical discussion. Fine, I'll play along for a little longer. Come with me! Mr. Nelson, please come along as well! I still can't get into this area of stuff! I wonder what she wants to show us! Maybe her puppies? Can I see her puppies? I wanna see puppies! Oh, we're on the back door, so maybe she'll show the puppies! This is it! Hmm, this is important to the demo! What about it? So those marks on the, on the demo? Those are the result of several days more than practice! And so the cells just don't replace it every day! Shouldn't it be hard to place this by now? That's true, but what if they do? On the cells we had to reproduce every mark I left during previous training sessions. I'm a professional fighter! I manage the scrolls are emphasizing the importance of refined control! The force, angle, and reward of this track is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the double, as well as my set of minus and milk is strong. This is the soul! This sword band has an ordinary style, and even the same sword band can melt the same cut twice. It'd be impossible to copy these marks. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Mm hmm. Is it really impossible? If they use some fancy machine to carve every single mark, people often say that a camera's photo can never replace an artist's painting because the former has no spirit to it. Oh, the Koroks. Wow! The same thing applies here. At a mere glance, I can differentiate carved marks from the result of combat training. <sighs> I hope that cleared things up for you. Hey, is it that new brain exercise game that's been super popular with the scholars lately? It's surprisingly fun. Anyway, it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarza to nail the stage. See you later. Hmm. Well, back to square one. Is our memory deletion theory also wrong? But at least we reached some other conclusions in the meantime. Okay, so we're not in a time loop. But it's also not just deleting memories either. It's strange. 
How come we've never thought about leaving the city? Oh! Any things we become clear if we can confirm the flow of time outside the city? Paimon can't believe it. Did we miss this because we're tunnel vision too hard on our other theories? Or because we're too tired? Yeah! What happens if we do leave the city? Like, like part of the city that is not influenced by the Akasha terminal. Didn't think of that. I mean, I kind of thought. Uh, I didn't think that would come to play. We're back. We're back to the show. Sort of. We're not so sure now that we're not in a time loop. And we also aren't in the real world. At the same time, we have a new question. Have we ever tried leaving the city? Hmm. You mentioned your plans to do that twice before. Oh. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? I don't think you actually, you actually ever told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times you never came back the whole night. Oh. Mm. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway. So at the time, I didn't think too much of it. It is true that sometimes we lose track of time during our investigations. Before we know it, it, it'll already be the next day. But still, neither of us remember anything about leaving town. Hmm, that's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Uh, maybe this is the key. Something here is definitely fishy. Let's get to the bottom of this tomorrow. Maybe the, the city itself is like in a time bubble? Uh-oh, here it comes again. Yep. Let's go and try to leave the city today. Mm, well, where should Paimon begin? Oh, what do you mean? Uh, I have another message for you. From who? Oh god, what the fuck? What's the background happening? Listen to it and you'll understand. Whoa, 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 what? Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our sub -Zeru's festival in Sumer City is just one of them. Are? Traveler, you should be missing two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. Uh-oh. Two days ago. Let's go and try to leave the city today. Okay. What's going on? Oh, oh, okay. We're playing the memory. All right, that's cool. That's nice. Uh, hold on. Let me just put that really quick. Do, 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 do. I also did this. I also did that. And I also accidentally said, oh fuck, I actually set off a burst. Oops, that was part of the memory. Eh. Ah! Doggy! Doggy. Don't ask me, it's not like I can tell you anything. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just wait until tomorrow. I have a real emergency! My goods have already arrived at Port Omos. If I don't hurry, they'll be stolen! That's your problem. Make sure you make a request in advance next time. But it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. Ugh. It looks like the Academy already announced a lockdown for Sumer City today. How completely unsurprising. Let's go and question them. Hello, sir. Why can't we leave the city today? Here we go again. Don't ask me, I don't know either. We just received an order that no one is allowed to exit, enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't tell us anything else. Of course. Angering me won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info, I would have left this stupid post a long time ago. Oh. Looks like he really doesn't know. If we can't, if we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our own hands. Why don't we climb over the walls? Those guards can't be anywhere at once. This is a good spot, and the guard hasn't noticed us at all. Let's hurry. All right. Leaving the sitter might trigger disruptions to our memories. We need to say and stay and witness events from this side. But what if things get really weird out there and you get into some trouble? Th th then Paimon won't be able to help you. Ah, uh, Paimon knows that Paimon can't do much, but we've always been together, haven't we? If we leave together, it will just be the same as before. Right. Okay, let me just drink really quick. Ugh. Okay, Paimon will wait for you. 
I must plan on that you'll come back as soon as possible. Just a quick look. Okay, okay. And please be careful. Okay. Wonder what happened. Hmm? Let's go and try to leave the city today. Oh, so she doesn't remember? Oh, is she? <laughs> What's going on? Paimon thought Paimon would never see you again. You just disappeared. Huh? Oh, no! <laughs> Paimon waited for you hours and hours at the city wall and you never came back. You promised Paimon that you were only taking a quick look. He's here now. I don't think she understood what you were saying. Paimon doesn't care. Paimon wanted to go look for you, but you also said that Paimon should stay. Paimon was so worried and so scared the entire day. Dang. I won't leave you behind. <laughs> okay, Paimon will forgive you. The more important thing is that you didn't actually disappear. Paimon was also so scared that you had gone into another world. Okay, Paimon. So can you tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday? Uh-oh. Paimon describes your plan from yesterday. I see. Using two people's different perspectives. After that, you left the city. Paimon kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you disappeared in an instant. Oh! Interesting. I swear, if this is like... If the actual answer is something related to an isekai, I swear to God. Paimon was watching you with the fullest attention. What's your perspective, Traveler? You sure you don't have any memory of this? I don't even know that yesterday existed. I guess that explains everything. You also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city. Those days, memories can't be awoken. If we leave the city, our memories will be completely erased. It really sounds like something big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. But this way, we'll also never discover what's outside. Like a message? How can we send it back? Don't look at me like that. I I'm not used to being stared at. Oh, okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Give me some time and take care of doing your side for me. Yep, now we're talking. And then we pass the present day? No. She's just been lying there the entire time, hasn't she? I'm done. Here you go. Oh, isn't this just an Akasha terminal? I made some little changes. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. I just tweaked it so it can connect to any node. To make something like this... Naida, you really know the Akasha like the back of your hand. Anyway, we can use this now to record a message, right? Yep, I will help you save the messages. It should be pretty easy to use. I just can't guarantee the user status and signal coverage when they're outside the city. You know, because usually this thing connects to a 4G tower, but you need 5G in order to get more coverage. But I don't think you have that coverage. Yeah, I don't think you've have you've had that phone coverage plan yet. So it's gonna be a little spotty for you. We'll never know until we try. At least we're talking, taking the initiative now, right? All right. What? All right. Paimon isn't as worried as being separated since it happened only yesterday, but Paimon still isn't happy about it. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. And then the present day. Why was I... What was I... What was what I left for myself when I left the city? Although the signal was choppy and had some interference, we still managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Okay, now that you understand what's going on, let's hear the messages together. Mm. Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Seb's Roots Festival in Sumer is just one of them. I've entered another space. 
Before me, flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. All these spaces are empty, except for occasional ones that contain mutant puppets rather than people. I can't sense any human presence. Okay. That's one heck of an info dump. It sounds like you left the Sumer City space when you set foot outside of the walls. But everything looked completely normal when Paimon was looking out from the inside. That's unbelievable. Even if, even if we take your word for it, the other spaces had all very weird contents. There's one final part here. I only received it late last night. These spaces have been disappearing one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun in the sky. Deep. And now even the final space has also disappeared. Behind me, lots of spaces appeared again from thin air. I get it now. Those spaces are actually... What? Buzz? Probably because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. Oh, Paimon did hear a beat from the Akasha. Did it come from here or from the message? The message. It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha terminal. After the beep, Traveler said, even the final space has also disappeared. Okay. So, okay, here's 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 my... Here's Yed's theory about what's going on here. So, okay, it's not a time loop. Because if it were a time loop, everything physical should have been reset. But... Everything is being physically reset, but it's also not a time loop. But he, she's also talking about spaces that exist beyond just this festival. So maybe there are pocket dimensions that, are, like you know, that are there's like multiple across. I don't know how far it goes, whether it just be Sumero, or you know, pocket dimensions that happen outside of Sumero, and all of them are resetting themselves again and again. So. Maybe they're making pocket dimensions in different areas and resetting them to the same days over and over again. But I don't know how exactly that, that's supposed to work. Even the final space could have been <laughs> the subspace emissary. I saw outside the city I had one thing count a lack of human presence. Okay. Was well, that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? My impression is that each day of this samsara only ends at the sound of that beat from the akasha. Huh. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city have one thing in common: a lack of human presence. Wouldn't a real space just appearing like that be What could that mean? I mean, we know that, but what about the, the human presence part? Well, there was only one right answer, was there? So that's what it is. After the sound of the beat, the final space, the Sabzaru's festival, also disappears, and we're taken to the next day. Later on, Traveler also mentioned a bunch of new spaces materializing behind them. Do a lot of new spaces appear every day? Now, Paimon's head is spinning. So what are these spaces anyhow? Well, consider this. Consider this. For all the horrors of the Archon War, at its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. But no matter how strange or spooky things might look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. Huh. The Archon War, huh? That's an analogy and a half. Huh. Oof. Give me some time. I need to organize my thoughts. Oh, where are you going? Uh, walking away. <laughs> on the familiar bench. Uh, over here. Yeah. Does one go yonder? 
Is Nino there? Uh, he is not. Dang. God dang. What could this mean? Pocket dimensions that have their own time loops? But then we already proved that it's not a time loop. No, wait. Maybe the time loop is centering around certain people. Maybe the focus is on Dunyarzad. And everyone else is just resetting physically. I don't know why they would do that for though, though. Uh, you want to a lot I think? Alright then, I'm on won't disturb you. Hmm. I wish it were warm like there. I need some heat. <laughs> I wanna be warm. The dance of Seb Zerus is about to begin. I'm going to go watch it. That time already. Why don't you go ahead, Dunyarzad? We still have some other stuff to do first. Oh yeah, and this, this is the fake Dunyarzad, yeah? You know what? I th okay. What's also strange is... Okay, Dunyarzad also has a copy of herself that's not her walking around. Do you think that has anything to do with what's going on here? Wait, no, let's meet up with Naida first. You can tell us both together. This time, we're going to get to the truth. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. That seem that does also seem a little far-fetched, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, wait, hold on, by the way. Mm, I like to buy your weapons. Even though we're in a time loop, and if it's a time loop, then we should technically be buying this over and over again. But I bet that's not what they want us to do here. What is it that you have? Ooh. I don't have a, some of these things. And I do have three million dollars, so you can take whatever you have off of your hand. What is it, I wonder? What could it be? Does that door actually open? Nope, it does not. I was just curious when I saw it, forgive me. Hmm. Hmm, you're back. I've been waiting forever for you two. Judging by the looks of your faces. Are you ready to take your subs ruse exam and graduate from the festival? Ask away. Okay, first off, have you discovered the hidden truth? Hmm. What a strange phenomenon. Divination results? They all mean. Uh, so, okay. A lack of human presence. Those spaces remind me of dreams, like the one I had in Navia Forest, except they have no sign of human presence. We've already experienced the subsurface many times, and yet the day of festival seems to be a perpetual samsara. Information on the Akasha? Okay, now you said blah 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 blah, composite wisdom, okay. Associate. Uh, dreams with no human. That one? We're all in a dream. Isn't that the people of Sum It isn't that the Su people of Sumeru don't dream. Rather, the Akasha is taking their dreams from them. People in Sumeru don't think they dream, but the truth is, the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing it. And all those spaces with no human pre presence are stolen dreams without their host. That would explain why that they sounded so weird when she was trying to describe them. But people in Sumer do dream after all. In fact, we're all in one big dream together right now. How did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? Hmm. Power of the Gnosis to operate. Um, it is a manifestation of God of Wisdom's power. 
It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. It grants knowledge to the people. Uh, it compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. Manifestation. <laughs> is that actual evidence, though? I don't know which one it is. It grants knowledge to the people. But, but what we're talking about is not giving them the knowledge, but taking away their dreams. What proves that? It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. It could be that one. It is a manifestation. It doesn't really say anything. I think it's this one. You sure about that? You sure about that? Why even make me do the choices if there's only one answer anyway? Those green controlling creatures in the forest also gets their power from the Dendro Archon, right? I would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams too. But is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Dreams are fantastical, complex, and full of imagination. People's brains are most active when they are dreaming. In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. In other words, the complete opposite of how Hapacy understood yet. Paimon remembers her saying that the sages think dreams are foolish and delusions. And the fact that no one dreams is a blessing from the greater lord Ruka, Ruka, Ruka Devada. Hmm. It was all a dirty trick. The real story is that the sages from the academy are using the Akasha to steal people's dreams for their own use. And they don't intend to stop there. By the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about the Simsara? Hmm. Is a prompt tone for Akasha on Rusire, and not even though we remove Akasha terminals. Those spaces kept disappearing from our eyes, but as soon as that beep sounded, many more spaces materialized. Those dreams kept vanishing, but as soon as the beep sounded, more new spaces appeared. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of the God to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? Sara. What was this? The appearance and disappearance of dreams. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point of okay there we go. Mass production of dreams. The Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant dream state, but also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Sabzarus festival along with everyone else's, while their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. No one is any of the wiser as another day passes in the dream, and so begins another samsara cycle. People wake up to yet another dream about the Sabzarus festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha, and so it continues. So they talk to Dream Factory. The Akasha is a dream harvesting machine? Did Paimon get that analogy right? Very good. Using analogies is well excellent habit to get into. Okay. So the beep we keep hearing is actually from our real-life Akasha terminals. Taking off our terminals in this dream doesn't do anything. Last question. Who am I? I think I can figure that out already because uh, we know who this is. The moon. The alchem alchemical divination is a Dendro Arkin's divine revelation. So then if Nahida has referred to herself as the moon, illusions is a hint that we're all dreaming. So it's not that one. Lies. Wait, what'd you say? Uh, it wasn't an illusion to hint that says uh, the moon. So you've noticed. Yes, I am made of cheese. Yet as now my full attention, I'm no longer playing Minecraft. Aw, oh, you little goose. You. you are the lesser Lord Kusanali. I thought that one would be the hardest question. That's why I put it last. That wasn't hard at all. Even Paimon guessed that. Everything about you is different. We just didn't want to expose you is all. Now that you mention it, Ahida, you've been hinting to us since the very beginning. It's funny thinking back when we were all asking all over the place for info about Lesser Lord Kusnali. Paimon didn't expect you to meet like this. I have a lot of questions for you. Yeah, those can wait until we're back in real life. On the other hand, I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have about here and now. Oh, 
Why couldn't you tell? Simply tell us the truth. You asked me this question before. My answer it was, it would literally blow your minds. But now that you know this is all a dream, this answer should hopefully make more sense. Have you heard the saying, don't wake a sleepwalker? Likewise, if someone suddenly had told you all this instead of learning it on your own, your notion of reality and dream will be thrown into irreversible confusion. I can expose you to that kind of risk. That's why I can only give you very subtle hints and some suggestions. Long story short, I'm really sorry I had to keep you guessing. You know what? I do like that interpretation of why you're never given the information from the start. I think some people are really cheeky. It's like, oh, you'll find out soon enough. Or like, you just gotta, you just gotta figure things out on your own just cause. I think that kind of reasoning is really dumb. It's even more, it's better that the reason why they're doing it is because if they do figure it, if they do figure out all the information from the right start, then there could be long-term consequences. And one of them being your mind will literally be blown. So I, I, I like that reasoning that why we can't learn things right now. We got to figure things out ourselves. How do the sages manage to keep people from noticing this? This dream we're in is completely based on reality. People have already experienced this subservice festival. It'd be very difficult for them to find anything that strikes them as surreal. Secondly, you're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier samsara, right? That's because people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. So whenever they wake up in the dream of the Subsurus Festival, they don't remember anything from their previous identical dream. Oh, that reminds Paimon. Traveler had a dream when we were in the Unbia Forest, but couldn't say what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Yes, only after receiving the blessing of Dendro can a person gain the Dendro element's dream-enhancing power that explains the feelings of deja vu. Meanwhile, everyone else has no idea that they are in a Sebzerus festival samsara while their dreams are stolen from them over and over again. Also, I'm sure she is totally awake. She's just lying there, not knowing what to do, not knowing when it's the perfect time to break to this. Oh yeah, I'm awake now. About the side effects of a mass-produced dream. Can humans keep really dreaming forever like this? Will it ever end? And if so, when? <laughs> Become hippie. Remember your dreams. You might say your mental fatigue has already answered this question. Eventually, there's only so much that people can tolerate. Especially those who health is compromised to begin with, like Dun Yarzad. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing. We gotta put a stop to this. Uh, but, but, but why is the dream about the Sapsarus Festival? Why do they have to base this dream on my birthday? Could it really just be a coincidence? Even you don't know the reason? Well, now that's strange. The Academy Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short, t short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about it. Traveler, do you have any information? Hmm. Those space remind me of dreams, like the one I had on your brother. Oh. Only the Akash relies on the power of the Gnosis to operate, as is the manifestation of God of wisdom and power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Uh, I feel like it's this one, though. You sure? <laughs> Take a duke duke. Uh. Why is, this, why is this advice you can give me? Celebrate the birth of that god. Could it mean? Hmm. Deceiving the people of Sumer with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. After we end the Sabzarus Festival Samsara, we have to look into them. How can the sages of the Academia do this behind their Archon's back? This is ridiculous. In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. Sun and a moon. Nahid is talking in riddles again. Oh, I think I understand what they're talking about. Uh-oh. I'll tell you how to break free of the samsara tomorrow. See you then. Damn. And then we wake up. We remember everything like usual. Mm. Good morning, Ahida. Wait, now that Paimon remembers everything, shouldn't we say good morning, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Uh-oh. You don't look too good. 
Wait, where's Dunyarzad? Um. Wait, are we too late? The real Dunyarzad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. No! Is she... Is she dead? Paimon can't believe it. Wait, so what about the other Dunyarzad? What is she... Just what is she? Is she also going to disappear? She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. The real Dunyarzad's consciousness can no longer keep playing her role in this dream. So another Dunyarzad appeared to replace her in the dream. Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarzad is just a building block of the dream that helps it keep going. But personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarzad. Puppets are stiff and can't copy a person's vitality. After all, they're just there as a filler. You know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you with, within her consciousness, and it was you who inspired her. So you do remember her after all. Yes. Back then, her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elysier. How come I can't watch stream in 1080? What? Um, the source is 1080 though. I think there might be something wrong on your end. Okay, let me just check my settings really quick. Oh, you're distracting me from a really emotional moment. Uh, yep, yeah, my outputs, my outputs at 1080. <laughs> it was your fault. The fluff in his ears is poofier. It's me, little poofier. I'm still the same guy. Hold up, let me stretch him. Cold. My tootsies. I can't watch it in 1080. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to watch the VODs in 1080. I too suffer from this. Oh, well, I mean, you know, it's not like, not like you have to watch me at 1080, right? No matter what quality it is, it's always going to be low quality anyway. I just gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way, so that she could be her own person. But even so, she's still... I want to look at your opai <laughs> No! Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my faith most faithful follower die at the Sabzaru's festival with so many regrets. Please don't beat yourself over it, Nahida. It's the Sage's fault, and theirs alone. I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Naida. Even real Archons are still allowed to be sad. Oh. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the Samsara as soon as possible. Great! But how do we do that? Although this Sabzaru's festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. Huh? So how should we find that person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everyone here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, within the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if your dreams host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind, and the server will really bring you gold and mora. Right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served, it will always be food. Okay. We find the host, then what? Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. Huh? How are we going to find them, though? If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Even if we did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? After all, like you said, 
Don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. The only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, everything you've achieved up to, up to this point has been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. Unless they start lucid dreaming. <laughs> As for me, during this time, I'll be out of town. Uh, out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the traveler went? Yes. I want to try something. There must be a sp uh, there must still be a small wisp of possibility. Hurry and go. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end. I'm still a little upset we've come this far, only for Duryarza to. She was such a good person with such a simple wish, but fate was against her. I feel so demoralized. Yeah, saving Dunyarza is what kept us going this whole time. Wait, we mustn't lose hope, Traveler. Dunyarza would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break this samsara for her sake. I was wondering, do you think the sages would get one of their own to be host for this dream? Feels like it will be easier to control it that way, no? Likely. Knowing the plan, they'd probably be aware that they were dreaming. And I suspecting hosts would be less likely to realize this is a dream. Uh, that is true. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control, like Nahida and us. So who do you think the host of the dream is? Um, the ones with the strange getup? That would make sense. Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is a symbol of the whole sub Zerus festival, right? Pretty core character. Let's go ask him some questions, shall we? Oh, wait, is it is it going to be like Nilo or something? I feel like it's, got, it's either Nilo. It's got to be Nilo, yeah? It's got to be... Yeah, it's got to be Nilo. I don't think it's going to be the Knight of Flowers, Ferris. I mean, as cool as that guy is. I don't think he's that important of a character. Where is this guy? Where that dude? Hmm? You're back. You left in a hurry last time. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. It's just, um, it's a little hard to explain. Would you mind taking part in a little experiment with us? Hmm? An experiment? Well, that came out of nowhere. I'm listening, though. What do you need me to do? Could you make a wish? Imagine your wish coming true before your very eyes. You want me to make a wish? Is that a new sub Zerus festival tradition or something? Less questions, more wishing. Okay, okay. My wish, my wish. Uh, okay. I'm a little nervous to say this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarza to be happy. Oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no! I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down. She wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind, and all the kids love her. I've also wondered if the reason why she asked me to be Ferris the Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her or something. So, do you have a crush on Dunyarzad? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, is it that obvious? Hmm. After what I just said, I, I guess it is. Oh my god, no, not now. <laughs> when she placed that hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she said to me, I want everyone to be happy, to be, have a happy Sapsarus festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted her to be, I just wanted to be her knight of flowers for the rest of my life. 50 years, 100 years, I'll serve her till the end of time. Oh yeah, that, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. Alright, I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss Dunyarza to appear in front of me right now. With a smile on her face. Here goes. Come on. And I open my eyes. Ho oh, ho. Oh, you're. Huh? Ah. Mm, Faki. Sorry, but only one portion of Yaldea can ask for person. Back home you go. <laughs> nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. As long as she's happy. As long as she's happy. Ha 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 ha. 
I guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. I'd expected it wouldn't be this easy. It's gonna be Nilo, isn't it? It's gonna be Nilo. It's gonna be Nilo. I know it's gonna be Nilo. Bro's a Kringle man. Eh. It seems like everyone who knows Nyarza loves her, but none of them has any idea that she... My lady, step back. Wait, that sounds like Deya. All oh, right, this is when Dinyarza bumps into the kidnappers. I'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. Oh, but Deya can handle them. Hey, traveler. Oi! Oi! Wow, we, we could hear from that far away. We just have really good ears, or Deya has a really good lungs. Oh, it's good. It's you. Great timing. Please take take Dunyar's out and leave. Oi, right, this is my job. Take the hon Homayan is pay me, not you. Leave. Uh, okay, right, fine. Knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyways? It's not like I don't trust your fighting skills. Anyways, watch yourself. Hell yes! Blow some steam. So you got yourself some backup. Huh. Suit yourself. You're going down. Oh, I don't think I'm going down. Nope. Hell <laughs> no. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Don't try to hit me and hit me. Oh, no. And there we go. Oh, no, no, that wasn't it. Okay. No, 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 Oh my god, I feel bad for this guy, but you are the last. Not really. It felt pretty good to fight. Traveler, are you just taking your anger out on those guys? I mean, I would do the same thing if I was going through the same situation. You and Nahida both. Dinyarzad wouldn't want to see two like this. Oh, and speaking of her, I just remembered something. Remember how during the first Sebzerus uh, Seb festival, before the Samsara started, we came here during we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up. She said because she had forgotten something. Yes, I do remember that. So Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she's staying somewhere around here. She pointed out to us the night before the Sebzerus festival. Yeah, even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this needle in a haystack search. All right, give it to me. This is the place. It's rude to enter someone else, other people's place without permission, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Ah, uh, the, the, it is what it is. Yeah, shut up. The windows are unlocked. Okay, Paimon's gonna take a peek inside. Carrying something. What is it? What is it that she carried? This was only a temporary residence, so there was pretty much nothing inside except this book on the table. Should we open it? Oh god, uh, normally I don't read this, but let's read it. Almost after 16 days, I was finally able to get these notes written before the Semzerus festival. Once the festival ends, you and Paimon will probably continue your journey immediately. So I was hoping that I'd be able to give you this before that. This is a compilation of folk legends concerning Lesser Lord Kusanali, created from a series of interviews I conducted in succession and wrote down. I interviewed so many people, but I'm afraid that there are very few who know much about her. Still, I hope that this will be of use to you in your search for her. G Gandharvaville's water supply was once contaminated, forcing everyone to go very far out, of, out to get water. But one day, people suddenly found that the water was drinkable again, and some said that a green light was seen near the water source the previous night. Everyone believes that this was the divine power of Lesser Lord Kusnali at work. This sounds quite possible, 
The decontamination of water sources via the natural means probably takes ages. Did Lesser Lord Kusanali appear in the Gar Gand Gandharva Ville then? After Mama passed away, I was super afraid of the dark and couldn't sleep. But from one day on, I would hear a voice that would chat with me till I fell asleep. A nice lady told me that Lesser Lord Kusanali must have been watching over me. Poor child. I hope that the sub Zerus festival makes him a little happier. This is quite similar to something I experienced back then as well. He is indeed a gentle god. And this was the one, this one time where I'd had a wee bit too much to drink and couldn't find my way home to save my life. And when I turned a corner, I could have sworn I saw Lesser Lord Kusanali. He was very tall and had more, most muscular arms, and she caught me when I slipped and fell. The next morning, I found myself sleeping under a tree. I reckon that must have been her looking out for me. Hmm, I'm not sure if this one has much value as a reference, but it's probably just a tree, right? <laughs> These folk records appended with Dunyar Zod's references and opinions leave every pen page densely packed. Oh, Dunyar Zod wrote all this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us, even while we were away. <laughs> Even though she was so busy preparing for the sub festival and had all her health problems to worry about, she must have wanted to give, us, give this to us as a gift on the day of the sub festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we would have never known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. Oh, where are you off to now? Where are you going? Wait, hold up. We're kind of like trapped in this dream right does that mean we can't leave can we leave oh okay so there's kind of like a warning i'm sure we can leave but it would like oh it'll break the immersion we can't leave until we finish this interesting at least at least they stop you that's good Get away. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, it's a copy. The Nyarzat's puppet. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you must be exhausted. Come to think of it, we've been stuck in this place for a really, really long time. Heck, even the last time we were chatting happily with Dinyarzak feels like an eternity ago. That, that was a while ago. If it's, if it's been days? Dang. Paimon still remembers when we were sitting here, and the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about Nilo's dance of Sabzaru's. I can barely recall it now. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is to not leave behind any regrets. Dang. That was what the real Dunyarzad said, wasn't it? Does that mean... Dunyarzad? Yes? Traveler? What is it? Oh, she's still just a puppet. But just now, how come... Where are we going this time? We watch the dance of Sabzarus. Yes! We shall watch it for her! We will do such a thing! I don't cry. But when I do, I cry for good reason. In Mother Russia, you don't shed tears. The tears shed you. Oh my god, not again! 
I shall drink. Thank you. Also, don't you have a test, Crystal? If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How, how did things turn out like this? Stop the show, bitches! Slap him. Slap him. Traveler? You don't have to get involved. He's, he's sage from the academia. I don't want to drag you into this. Traveler? Traveler, what the heck are you doing? You'll get arrested by the academy. That's another day gone to waste. Mm hmm? <laughs> mm hmm? They're not reacting. Are they even scared stiff? They're puppets. Of course, if this is the sage's plan, they wouldn't put themselves through this. So they're just substitutes. What's this? What happened to the grand sage and his entourage? What's up with those flowers? Hmm. Like I said, they symbolize the goddess of flowers, after all. It's just a shame that they're all all the real paradisaras were extinct after her death. Yes, the greater lord brought forth a new brought forth new paradisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers, but she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful shade of purple. Oh. However. However. Hmm. Ah. That beautiful shade of purple. Aren't these flowers real pedicerous? Just like the one from the legend? I didn't even notice. In Yarsad, did you find these? But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of the flowers passed away? So how... Yeah, what's going on here? Hello, close your eyes. I imagine that the Grand Sage and his entourage are not here in front of you. You guys are acting weird, but okay, I'll try. <laughs> Make sure you shine your memory. <laughs> Make sure you put a light bulb over your brain so that it glows. Hey. Oh. So Nilo's the host. I knew it! I knew Nilo was the host! What a surprise. Purple paradiseras per don't exist in the real world anymore, but in Nihil's subconscious, they can appear as decorations on the stage. It's just like the example Nahira told us. People assume that there would be food on a plate, and Nihil assumed that there would be real paradiseras on the flower pots. So when you saw the flowers, you instantly knew it was Nihil? Yes. But if we want to end the samsara, we need the host to become aware that they're dreaming. Yeah, we should totally tell it in front of them and make sure that they know that they're dreaming. Am I dreaming? Huh? How did you come to that conclusion? Uh, I don't know, because you, 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 you said it in front of me. <laughs> so I'm right? Is this Lesser Lord Kusanali responding to our celebration of the Sabzarus Festival? Uh, wrong guess, but you aren't completely wrong either. The point is, what made you think this was a dream? As far as you know, people in Sumer don't dream, right? Yes, but have you heard of the tale of the first sage? To prevent a calamity, he went on a journey to find the Dendro Archon. Oh, sounds familiar. Dunyarza told us a story like that when we first arrived in Sumer City. It was about the first sage, huh? Yeah, but in the part you heard, he hadn't become the first sage yet. There's more to the story. His piety and wisdom were acknowledged by the Dendro Archon, and she finally gave her blessing to him. All kinds of spectacular scenes appeared in front of the first sage, as if all the knowledge in the world was being painted onto a canvas right before him. He was captivated. After who knows how long, he mastered all the knowledge he could comprehend. Afterward, he said to the Dendro Archon, I miss my parents, my wife, and my children. I've been away from home for far too long. They must be worried. Calamity, sages, <laughs> reminds me of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I know, I know, right? I, I wonder where they get the inspiration from. 
the Dendro Archon smiled. The next second, the Sage found himself lying in his bed as if he had just woken up from a dream. His wife, lying next to him, said, You're off to search for the Dendro Archon today, aren't you? Have a safe journey, my love. In the end, the First Sage took care of many disasters in Sumer City and founded the Academia. What a happy ending! So, the First Sage was dreaming ever since the beginning of the story? He never went on his journey? Yes, but his faith and determination were conveyed to the Gendron Archon, so she blessed him in the form of a dream. Paimon understands what you're coming from now. That's a really interesting connection, but we gotta, we really gotta wake up soon, like the sage in the story. Now that Nilo is aware of it, the dream should be over soon. Well, it just so happens that today's Sabzaru's festival is almost over too. Since we're in a dream, let's make this final dance of Sabzaru's as beautiful as we can. Yes! Let's see the dance! Pre-render cutscene! This kind of sounds like Arabian Nights elevator music. <laughs> it's a force ghost from Star Wars! <laughs> It's sad that she never really gets... she doesn't come out alive on this one. Alright, see you later, Crystal. Good morning, Traveler. Paimon feels like she's been asleep for the longest time. Paimon's head feels super heavy. Did we oversleep? Do you remember going to sleep last night? Paimon thinks it was after the Sabzaru's festival. Wait! The Sapsaru's Festival! Have we finally escaped from the Sapsaru's Samsara? Quickly, take over your Akasha Terminal! I think I saw... Is she... Oh, Please tell us she's still alive! Or she's not there. She's not in her room. What happened? Let's go to the usual spot. What usual spot? What do you mean usual? You know. You know. That place. The place. That place. Oh! Oh, she's still here. Oh, thank god. Well done, Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> Catherine with a question mark? And thank you, Dunyarzad, for organizing the Sabzaru's festival for me. I'm sorry, who are... Dunyarzad. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> You're okay. Okay. Oh, don't scare us like that. Oh, Traveler, Paimon. 
I have something amazing to tell you. I just had a dream. I saw Nylon performing the dance of Samsarus. Well, we've got something to tell you as well. You're actually Nahida, aren't you? Paimon felt like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the Sapsur- Wait, oh, wait, um, what? Wait, she, I'm sorry, what? She- Wait. She- Wait. Nahida is Catherine. The Catherine that's been all over, or just this Catherine? And Dunyarzad, did you save her? A really long story. We should disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. Let's chat somewhere else. How about by the traveler's favorite bench? The keyhole on the back of Catherine's neck. Oh, is this how we unlock Nahida as a free five star character? Do we just need to turn the keyhole at the back of the neck? It's like, oh, congratulations, you got a new five star. Is that how it works? I like to believe that's how it works. You're dreaming. You really want Nahida. I mean, I already have Nahida. Um, where is she? I have her somewhere. Ah, yeah, there she is. See, I already have her. <laughs> Fuck you! You can't see it, but I have a middle finger up right now. You can't see it. Fuck you! <laughs> I don't need her when I already have her. Let's talk about Dunyarzad first. It's a relief that she's alright. Hmm. After we parted on the last day of the Sabzarus festival, I left the city and saw what the traveler had described. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. When Sunyarza could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. This also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Such a small fragment of consciousness can't last very long though. It will return to its original dream, where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. He hates me. <laughs> I didn't say that. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream along as live, alive as long as possible, but it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it had been for you to bring the samsara. Oh, so it looks like we did manage to save Dunyarzad in the end, and not a moment too soon. A miracle! Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. Hmm, I need to spend more time observing human emotions. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. All right, you two must have a lot of questions for me after all. You saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I'll answer any and all questions. I saw in the dream of the Avi Forest. I also heard someone's voice, right? It said world and forget me. So you do know. We've been wanting to ask you what that was about, and if the Red Sky was related to Kenria. Uh, Ke 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 it seems like the Traveler established a connection to Erminsul. That was a message left by the Greater Lord Ruka Devada's residential consciousness in Erminsul, perhaps her last memory before she died. As you probably know, Great Lord Ruka, 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 Ruka Devada disappeared after the disaster in Kanria. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. A message from the Great Lord Ruka Devada. We thought it was from King Deshret. King Deshret, the god who died even longer ago? Some present day desert dwellers still worship him. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Conria. Oh, okay. So, what does the message mean? I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Great Lord Ruka Devada's resi residual consciousness in Rinsul seems to be contaminated with something that has very dangerous aura to it. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. I've warned the academia about this many times, but people, keep silly people still keep falling victim to it. But I believe this is the key to saving Rinsul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Rinsul. Oh, Dinara also said that Rinsul is sick. 
Is it because of the contaminated consciousness? <laughs> Even if you can't figure out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you our search for you was all in vain. The traveler wasn't affected at all after coming in contact with the consciousness. I've never seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance at deciphering it. No, we must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all of the factors that might affect Erminsul. This is the only one left. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It can determine Erminsul's fate, as well as Tevan's. Why do you like Catherine? To be accurate, I'm using the Akasha as a medium to occupy Catherine's consciousness. How do you do that? <laughs> Poor Catherine. Does this mean you can also occupy other people's consciousness? Theoretically, I can't enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha terminal. The Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Rukadvada, as Lesser Lord Kusanali, and the first Akasha terminal. My consciousness has always been linked to the Akasha. I've always respected my people's free will, so I've never actually occupied their consciousness. When necessary, I borrowed this bionic Chesnayan puppet. Wait, hold on. Did we just learn some deep dark secret? So Catherine is... No wonder Paimon felt something was off about her. What about your own body? Why do you need to borrow other people's? Don't you live in the sanctuary of Surasthana? Hmm. Watch anime. The story begins a long time ago. After Greater Lord Rukadevada disappeared, the saint just found my newly born self and took me back to Sumeru. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept kept me in the sanctuary of Sranstana, ostensibly for the sake of protecting me, but I've hardly heard from them since. However, I do understand that they had hoped to find Greater Lord Rukadevada instead of me, a symbol of her passing. So the sages basically put their new archon under house arrest? How dare they? Why don't you teach him a lesson, Nahida? In some ways, they aren't wrong. Greater Lord Rukadevada was omnis omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. And I, I'm still really far away from being able to call myself the God of Wisdom. Moreover, the Academia is also far more proficient at governing this country. My existence has little meaning. Yeah, you've got a lot of believers. You just look at the Sebzerus Festival. Everyone who shut up truly loves you. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words, but I honestly don't need physical freedom as long as I can connect my consciousness to the Akasha. Trying to find a way to save Erminsul is my life's mission and top priority. I will still work on that. And try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. Every once in a while, I also take the duties of the God of Wisdom and lighten the lost sword here and there. Doing all that should be enough. And I'm going I hope my answer my answers were satisfactory. Speakers of knowledge? To be honest, maintaining Dunyarzat's fading dream took a lot of mental energy, and I think I may need to rest for a while. Oh, and you don't need to worry too much about the sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of sub Zerus Samsara in the immediate future. Alright, go and get some sleep. Leave everything to us. What a relief. This is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. Koshi, Koshi, Koshi. Huh? Traveler? Paimon? <laughs> Why am I here? Do either of you know? I am definitely not a robot. <laughs> Maybe you were sleepwalking? You know, you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We uh, happened to walk by, so we thought we'd wait for you to wake up. I see. Hmm. I should visit my maintenance personal sometime. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I better go. Thank you. The way that Nahida is supposed to be the god of wisdom, but is the youngest god. It's such good writing. Yeah, I love how um, if anyone writes certain characters that whatever that they are supposed to be, there's a contrast to their actual character, right? You have the person who's the wisest character in all of the uh, seven archons, but she is ironically the youngest there. I also love how um, I think there's some characters in Genshin that do that as well. You have, uh, if I can think of one, there's there's Diona. Diona, she is uh, one of the best wine keepers and one of, like one of the best winemakers in all of Mondstadt. But ironically, the twist is she wants to destroy the wine industry. So that that's like a very interesting dynamic already. You also have, what else do you have? 
Mm, you also have, uh, you also have like some character like Rosaria. For her, since she's a nun, a nun of a church, usually the idea of a nun is supposed to be holy and they're supposed to be um, all devout and all, you know, they're supposed to be clean. Yet the contrast to that character is that she's a lot more a lot more darker and a lot more dirtier in terms of her being an assassin. And she does, I guess, apparently occasionally go out to the pub to drink, which is not usually meant to be holy. You know, she doesn't keep herself holy. But she works in a holy place. Supposedly, she doesn't work with alcohol at all. Oh, really? Then I guess I, I guess the contrast is no matter what kind of drinks she makes, and I supposedly that would imply that she's good at making alcohol. She wants to destroy the alcohol industry, <laughs> which is funny. I can stop squeezing the otter plush to death. Yeah. All right then. All right. Let's see. Oh, yep. There's new commissions. Interesting. Oh, wait, I don't have to do... Oh, all right. All right, what do we have here? She's the best bartender despite hating alcohol. Yeah, that's how I would put it. Ooh, ooh, wait, no, no, I gotta stop. Nope, we're not doing that. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm not gonna spend that yet. <laughs> not yet. Uh, story quest. Oh, we can do story quests now. Unlock. Cool. Um. <laughs> Unlock. <laughs> Hell yeah. And um, I can also claim a key now. Alright, so I just unlocked that for the sake of unlocking it so that we can use the keys. But I haven't been able to use the keys. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What is that? What is that? I can turn to. Okay, I don't know what that is. But I'm sure it's important. Oh, this is supposed to be a few days after. Yeah? After what's happened? Hold up, let me just drink that water. Mm -hmm. Do you have any commissions for us today? Hmm, let me think. Please attend the Academia's Academic Symposium this afternoon and recite a love poem on stage. Uh, wait, what, what? Say what now? And if possible, please use your camera to capture the reaction of the audience upon finishing the poem. Huh? What kind of commission is that? Well, you're not interested in this commission. In case, please go to Port Ormos and convince the Ermites there to spend some time volunteering at the local orphanage. What? Huh, I'm sure the mercenaries will have some interesting reactions as well. Uh, Paimon's gotta ask, Jess exactly has been submitting these commissions to the Adventurers Guild. Oh, the commissioner, well, actually, I just wanted to see the two of you in action. Uh, you're Nahida. Was it so obvious? I was hoping you would actually take one of those commissions. That kind of chance to observe humans doesn't come by often. Ah, so it's Nahida. Paimon just knew Catherine wouldn't crack those kind of jokes. When did you get into her head? Not from, from when she said Ad Astra Abs Abyssoski. So it's been you this in no time? He is a fucking troll. Yeah. Are you done resting up? I've been sleeping ever since we parted ways, like five minutes ago. And I even had a really, really long dream. What did you dream about? It was another dream about the Sub Zarus festival, except it was a happy one. In my dream, I was sitting in the middle of the fire tower. Okay, I really kind of don't care. I always say, we're going to celebrate your birthday. But in reality, wasn't I describing a really happy dream? Why are you looking at me like that? Wait, could this be an example of emotion known as pity? 
No, we aren't pitting you. They only make you that that would only make everything worse. We don't want you to feel too sad. By the way, have you had a chance to visit Dunyarzad? How's she doing? The Homanyani's haven't allowed any visitors after the festival, so we haven't been able to check on her. I baited her a visit right after I woke up. She was resting at the time. Her condition is stabilized. However, since Elysiar is a manifestation of the withering of the human body, we can only cure it by finding a way to take care of Erminso's own withering. But for the moment, our talent focus should still be figuring out what the sages are up to and what they're planning. Right, but who knows what'll happen if they manage to pull off another scheme like the Samsara of the Sabzuru's festival. Hmm, right? So our first priority should be investigating and putting a stop to the sage's activities. As for how we should pull that off, let's discuss that somewhere else. There are too many adventurers around here. Ah, good point. Ah, sorry adventurers, we're gonna be borrowing Catherine for a little while. Who? Other adventurers? I thought it was only me! Ah, oh, we could start that one, or... We could just go somewhere else for now. God, we got too many. Mm. Oh, we can't do that yet because that's Fountain. Story Quest. Navigate. Oh, Lulu Pharmacy. What does that man have to do with us this time? And since it's not integral to the story, I'm just gonna speed through this one. Do, 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 do. Oh, fine. I'll go around. Oh, there's the little zombie. Mm, I'm here because... Oh, I've got to go lost in the city, probably wondering if Aaron. No, listen, I'm not the one who's lost. It's my dad. Okay. Hmm. You know, I turned back around, my dad was gone. Uh oh. <laughs> Talking about the snake. And that you were looking for the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. How would be of service? You have a talking snake? Talking snake. <laughs> Uncle Baiju. My dear boy, can you tell me more about your father's condition? As much as you can recall. <laughs> Doctor! I think you would prefer to call me Doctor Baiju. I didn't go through a PhD medical degree just to be called Uncle. You're feeling like I've seen you and your parents. Like me and the people, especially during Lantern Rite, you always tell me to stay at home and keep my dad company. Is that so? Is your mother named Zhang Li? Do you know my mom? Yes, I used to hang around her very often before she was married. We were very, very close. Are there pressing matters in the pharmacy at the moment? That's the old queen's mind. I would let say the church. Okay. Oh yeah. Count on us. All right, we're gonna find this guy's parents. The heart of healer. Oh yeah. Let's go that way. We'll just land on this part of the bridge. Land on this part of the bridge and we will find this guy's dad. We're gonna totally succeed in this really cool mission. There are the guards. We find one description. Look at the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to say we couldn't find anyone. Blah, 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 blah. Let's hope he hasn't gone to any trouble. We'll take that area. Thank you for trying, and then we'll go there to search for his papa. Actually, is there a teleport point? Yes, there is. Hopefully, that's faster than 
the other one. Go, go, go. So we'll have to go that way, yeah? Perfect. And... Whoa, what a look. Where is that kid? My toes are! Ooh! Where is this guy? Where would he have gone so far to go? Where would he go? This guy. Oh, there it is. Interesting. Don't fall off! Don't go any further. Are they? Oh, Huto! It's Huto! I fucking love him. Did I mention that? I love Dear customer, Wangsheng Funeral Parl does appreciate your patronage, but you didn't need hasten the inevitable. Are you alright? Uh, huh? <laughs> oh, Hu Tao! My, my, who do we have here? Mm, it's Y and Paimon and. Uh, uh. <laughs> my worst nightmare. I still she hasn't warmed to you. Ah, uh, thank you, Director Who, for saving this man. Dad, are you okay? Do you recognize me? It's me, Ayu! <laughs> You're... Ayu? Uh, uh, who am I? Your name is Zhang Liang. You live just to the west of Qingzhe village. You were supposed to come to Liwei Harbor to see the doctor. Remember? Does that jog your memory? Your name is Zhang Liang. Liwei Harbor, see the doctor? Yes, I'm Zhang Liang and I need to see the doctor. Wait. Why do I need to see the doctor? He seems in really bad shape. We need to get him back to Boo Boo Pharmacy right away. Sorry, Hu Tao. Got a dash. Dinner's on us next time. Uh, hold on a sec. You're not seriously of taking him to Boo Boo Pharmacy in this state, are you? Huh? Why not? What? What's the... Wait, actually, what, what is the problem? Come on, Baiju. Don't tell me you haven't noticed it. Didn't your master teach you how to spot the signs? Why do you get a sense that you spotted them right away, but you're planning to use it for your own ends? Oh? Use... What? What are you talking about? My one's lost. Hu Tao, hell yeah, I know. Me too, Hu Tao. I love Hu Tao. There are traces of God remains in Zhang Liang's system. Yes, but more importantly, they're on the verge of an outburst. If that happens, the consequences will be unthinkable. Paimon, sorry, what? God remains? There's no need to worry, Director Hu. I have methods of keeping them at bay. It is a sworn duty of all who practice medicine to cure illnesses and save lives. What reason would I have to neglect a patient in need who is right there in front of me? Because, besides, it is my late master's dying wish to be able to save this patient in particular. Perhaps, out of respect for him, you could give me a day's grace so that I have time to treat him? Now you're bringing my great uncle into this? <laughs> Baiju. What are you planning this time? Merely to cure this man, nothing more. But of course, if you have any doubt as to my intentions, you are more than welcome to accompany to Boo Boo Pharmacy and monitor my activities. Sorry, I just wanted to listen to the voice actor because I really love the voice actor. Oh, really? I thought I was persona non grata at Boo Boo Pharmacy. You're being unusually generous today. Okay, deal. We're not going to solve anything by keeping Zhang Ling here. I'm happy to do it, do it your way, but only for my great uncle's sake. And wise, of course. You must be pleased you brought a Y along. Otherwise, it would have been a much more vexing ordeal. Well, time is of the essence. Let's get ourselves back to Boo Boo Pharmacy at once. Yeah, the clash of life and death. Isn't that funny? <laughs> hmm. Blockages within the cardiovascular system reduce blood flow and energy circulation. I see. I suppose this must have caused the cognitive abnormalities. 
Dr. Baishu, how bad is it? Can you cure him? Don't worry. Baishu's a really great doctor. He's, he's sure to find a way. Isn't that right, Baishu? Hi. Do you know when your father first started displaying these symptoms? Uh, I'm not sure. He's been like this as far as I can remember, but it wasn't as bad as this when I was still little. So it's been a long time indeed. A grim prognosis? I have a treatment plan in mind. We can start tonight. Come and see me again tomorrow morning. I promise that by then, Ayu will find his father healthy and lucid again. Thank you, Dr. Baiju. Thank you so much! If you still have any misgivings to Dr. Who, please feel free to hang around for as long as you wish. However, it would be best if you stepped outside this room. The doctor must be able to focus while treating a patient. Any distractions heighten the risk of complications. Yes! Mm. Mm. Of course, yes, of course, absolutely. I'll just go and look at the flowers or something. But I will be back in an instant at the first sign that something's amiss. See you tomorrow, Baiju and Changsheng. Bye now. Bye for now, everyone. Are you ready, Baiju? <laughs> ready as I'll ever be. I'm used to it by now. Come on, let's get started. Ooh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do when I come for you? <sighs> ah, all's well that ends well, huh? You know, Paimon's kind of curious after hearing Baiju mention those people from his past. What do you, what do you think they were like? You must be curious too, right? Let's go see what we can find out by treating Ayu's dad. Hmm. Wait, before anything. Uh, let's go and get some rewards. And see if there's any general stuff that we can collect. Uh, go over here. And collect that reward of ours. Yes. Yes. Okay. And oh, okay. They're already gone, I guess. Yes. Yes. And yes. And I don't think there's much less beyond that. Except those already, but I don't think we can do that. And resin, we don't... Um, well, there's not enough to have 40 there, so I guess we can't really use that. But we might as well use it for something. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. What else can we do while we're waiting? Because I do want to use that resin to get more of those boss people. <laughs> get some. Oh, whoa. Perfect. Perfect. That's a lot of Primo Jam. The survey. I mean, I could, but I really don't want to. I don't want to do any surveys. Tell me why. Ain't a little hard. Tell me why. Oh, you know what? Uh, there are some materials that we might need to get for Shenna. She doesn't have these flowers. The 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 Qin Qin Xin found the Jiayun Karst or the Guyun Stone Forest. Now, where do you find those on the map? In around here. Oh, the Zhenyun Karst. Right there. Where's the... What, what was it called? The, the Chayan... 
stone forish. Ah, we we can go here first. We go to the mansion, and then we'll pick up those materials. I don't know here though. Nope. Really? I feel like materials like that should be pretty common too. Is this where I have to pull out the interactive map? I probably have to. Okay, then what's it called again? The Chin Chin. Uh, 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 uh. Pull out that map of mine. Oh, no, wrong one. Oil Lab, give me the interactive map. Uh, 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 uh. Genshin Impact Interactive Map. Yes, please. Where's the, what is it, the Qingxin? Mm -mm. Okay, there's, there's quite a few locations. And where we are in the map is Junkars. Okay, so it's not even around the area, immediately at least. But there's a few you around here which is pretty surprising okay no uh do you remember there being some sort of flower here nope i was wrong do you, uh... actually are there any in the city itself no there's not sure how easy it would be to find some in Oh, wait, hold up. So according to the map, there's quite a few around this teleporter. Ah, yes, there we go. Mm-hmm. We got a few there. There's one on the rock over there. Hmm. Seems to be a lot more around a certain area over in the north. Like around this area where the mountain is. And then like down there again. Maybe it should be maybe it is worth it. Let's try it. Eh, might as well, right? Yeah, because uh well that's pretty high. <laughs> I have a chin chin. I have a chin chin. Oh chin chin chin. Oh shit. Lost chin chin chin. I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> That's the only song I think of whenever I hear the background songs for Liwe. Certain areas, at least. Uh, ooh. Mm. There should be one around here. That's not it. Be a little a little deeper that way. Nope, that's not it either. Could it be? Like uh maybe you already collected it by accident? Uh th those that was not the chin shin. Those are just regular sweet old flowers. Yeah, 
Uh, probably not around here. But accordingly, there are some nearing the top of this mountain. Oh, wait, there's one over here. Cool. I think that's what I was looking for earlier. Wait, from what I'm seeing, according to the map, there's one there. One there. There's like one right next to that one. And then just like a few around this area. We're just going to check that really quick just a little bit. Hmm. Is it exactly there? Maybe just like on the top of this little hill here. And it, it, it is possible. Yeah, I think I think that's one of them. Yeah, there we go. That's one. Yes, that's two. Man, finding these is not that easy to come by. You kind of need to struggle in order to find these. Hello? Oh shit. Um. Come on, any reactions? Any at all? You, you can hit me at any time. Any moment now. Oh, you thought wrong. Oh, look, another one. How many more in order to uh, level her up? We need. Ooh, we need 21 more. That is not a little amount. And okay, so we, we, we've got quite a bit around here. There's a bit up there as well. We, yeah, at least we generally know what those are. Uh, Another one's up. Hmm. Maybe we can use this to go up there? Ah, as expected. The dangerous part of the forest. We gotta go up this little part of the hill. We gotta, uh, don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm not here. I am just part of the natural forest. Do not mind me. I think it's this way, yeah? Oh god, hello. I am just part of the wall. You do not see me. I am just part of the nature. Alright. Scale is just a little bit more, but we need more energy to do that. Where, oh where, our location I need to go. Mm-hmm. Ah, there's a few. Where are we on the map? Okay, we're on the tippy top. Gotta be a few here. I got one. 
on that part, there might be just one right here as well. Wu Wang Hill. Ooh. Can't exactly tell either. Give it a moment and we're gonna climb this little if side like it's nothing. Oh my god, going up here just for a little bit of flowers. What the fuck am I doing with my life? Okay, there's one right there. One right there. And I think there's one more. You think finding flowers like these are pretty easy. But in fact, it's a little difficult. Had to climb all the way up on this little mountain for us to be able to grab that. And the last one I don't even see. I know there's supposed to be a third one here or something. Huh. Guess not. Hmm. Where else could it be mostly populated? Ooh, it's near like the chasm entrance. There's a lot over there. I don't really want to go to the chasm because it's a little too rocky. Not even an Ina Zoom at all. Mostly just, which, you know, makes sense because the character is from Leeway. What does that do again? Hmm. Oh my god, is there more places to unlock? I don't remember seeing that. Oh my god, there's... Oh my god, oh, well, I guess that leads to Fontaine. That's the Fontaine part, right? Yes, that's why. Yeah. It's crazy how there's like a lot of part. There's a lot of sections here that we haven't really seen yet. That scares me a bit. Oof, but I think I'll have to call it because I'm a little tired at the moment. I'm an EP boy. Yeah, I think I'll call it for now. But yeah, that was that was fun to play with. And I didn't even realize how good that story was. I also absolutely loved it when they included it. Well, we thought was time travel, but it was just a very fancy way of, oh, it was all a dream, but it has real consequences. It's not just a dream that has no consequences. I loved that story idea, and I hope uh, they, whatever story that they're going to continue beyond this is more amazing than that, because, oh my god, that's a, that's a pretty good genius idea. Um, but yeah, um, make sure you take a shower. Just Hit the hay, brush your teeth, and y'all have a day. Have a good night as well. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.